Okay. <clears throat> so, when we last left off, we had all been exiting the simulation that was staged. As you stand on the wooden slats and crumbled remains of the rooftop, you watch as it all slowly blinks out of you. And you are once again standing in the center of a small dome. Uh, and when I say small dome, I mean relatively speaking. It's about uh, it's about half. Oh, uh, excuse by me. Feet. Yes. David, you, do you have the stream on? Because I cannot see it. I do not yet. I oh, was... okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, go ahead. I will put it on, but I was trying to paint a work picture. Yeah, stream time. Okay, we're, we're listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. In Sorry. a dome about half the size Ooh. of a football field, there is uh, multiple panels that are slowly closing up as uh, different holographic displays and machinery and actual real props are being moved out of space. And several figures walk in through the large doorway and begin situating all of you, tending to your wounds and readying all of you. So go ahead and mark a long rest, everyone, to get you back up to full. Everyone that was down. The personal doctors come in and begin uh, checking, doing physicals, and asking you baseline questions and judging your both physical, mental, emotional, magical levels of certain acuities and making sure that everything is still in order and if anything has changed. After a couple minutes of getting you all proper and whatnot, figure walks in. He's wearing a uh, straight leather, uh, a straight white jacket, and he's got a, a mug in one hand, and he's got a weirdly trimmed beard, and mess of brown hair, and a face that looks like he should be wearing glasses, but he is currently not, as they are tucked in his shoulder pocket. And he addresses all of you, saying, Well, what did you think about the first trip inside the danger room? Uh, first? Is there gonna be more? Oh, yes. Danger room is a bit of a misdemeanor. Basically, what this space is used for is simulating multiple different environments and uh, situations and all sorts of things and we'll be using it from time to time it's still in the works and there are things to iron out so if you do notice anything you know we're all on the cusp of you know invention at this moment so we're all beta testing everything in this situation, which is why we are so adamant on keeping such strict records and making sure that everything is going smoothly. So, please do not feel overwhelmed by all the rigmarole that we have going on here. Please just answer questions as simply and honestly as you can, and things should be run relatively smoothly and he takes a a long drink from his mug before continuing uh but i am here i'm dr leonard page i am the head uh doctor for this experiment that we have you are control group one and as such uh we only have you to start with and if things go well this might be a continual product that we continue for multiple other people this is still just in the research stage so uh, still figuring things out you all know dr leonard page you've uh, 
either heard or seen him around a few times before. This may be the first time that you actually meet him face to face, but being brushed past each other. Olsen. Olsen! Olsen, mute your mic. Was I not muted? No, you're not. He's eating no. his cookies. Damn. Um, but yeah, I, I guess the, the the position I'm posing is that if you have anything you would like to say or ask at this current moment in time after your first uh, interaction with the holographic room. Doc, did you really expect us to beat a dragon? No. Not, not in the slightest. But we were trying a few different things. We wanted to throw you into a situation of intense stress, both physical and mental, and see how well you do. And, and that's going to be what some of these early tests are going to be, is figuring out what are your limits, and then figuring out how to help build those and you know reinforce some of those things. I promise you, this next thing that we've got going on is going to be far more straightforward, simple, and easier to understand. This is literally just throwing you into the deep end to uh, see what your immediate response is. And uh, judging by the fact that you all were working together fairly well, proves something um, up until a certain point, but um, uh, I guess the, the sense of real danger is actually pretty good. I was really uh, scared that it wasn't going to be coming across very well, knowing as well, you all know that it is real, but uh, there there are some things that we are attempting to do to help uh, enhance the realism. Uh, and he looks over at the, the mechanical body of uh, a six-legged creature. We'll need to get some things checked out and reworked, but uh, bear in mind that none of you are in any real danger. Rest assured. Enhance the realism. So even though we are not in danger, our bodies are going to stress out as if we were. Correct. Again, we want to make this process as real, for lack of better term and personal as possible um, so I would like you to be going into all of these tests and situations without overthinking it or thinking too much too little it's it's all relative so just take it at face value and we'll attempt to hold you in you know the reality of the situation so, try not to think about it as some game, but actually think about it as what you would do in those kinds of situations. And our compensation for these trials? He, uh, takes a long drink for this. Perk Your... Up. What'd you say? I perk up at the mention of compensation. I'm on board, not enough. No. Room and board is uh, not compensation. It is simply something that we are willing and easily to provide as you are working in this process <clears throat> with us. But I believe the biggest reason why all of you have been gathered is because each and every one of you has a request, has a certain situation that you all need some help with, and are, well, without going into too much detail, I know you and your situations, and these need not be discussed publicly, but if you so choose, you are free to discuss amongst yourselves. Okay, um, that doesn't answer my question, though, does it? Olsen raises his hand. Uh, 
I don't know about you guys, but I really gotta use the bathroom now. Because all I can oh hear is this guy sipping <clears throat> from his cup. Then go to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, after this very brief uh, iteration, you guys are escorted to uh, a smaller building where you can uh, shower down, get dressed in your normal casual clothes, and get out of these ridiculous costumes that were used to present you into the situation. Um, Eris, if you want to sit back and talk more, you may. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'll stay as well. I have a question myself. Mm -hmm. Shower and get some food. Um, your oh your food will be back at your residences, which you will be uh, given a shuttle uh, to soon. But Eris <clears throat> and Arthel have some further questions and concerns. I was just uh, wondering, uh, Doc, next time could I uh, uh, bring my guitar? I don't like, um, I don't like, yeah. Yeah, um, she just doesn't have any it. abilities in her. Well, I can still do magic, it's just the... Uh, well, yeah, but... I can't play. Yeah. He, he nods. The reason why you were not allowed to bring your uh, muse, and he nods to you, Eris, you were not allowed to bring your companion, is again to put you at to get you uh, a disadvantage disadvantage seems a bit harsh but what we are trying to accomplish is getting a baseline and with all these extraneous features it's hard to figure out what your balance is without all these extraneous uh influences don't consider yourselves handicapped without these things in fact eh, well I will be making no assumptions but do know that your mental state and where you believe that you need these things sometimes can be more of a hindrance than you actually believe oh, okay yeah okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find my guitar. I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. Yeah, you can go. And she'll walk off. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, us. She just calls back. Good night. Good night. Is it night? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, bye. I it, don't know. It's it's Good about night. it's late <laughs> mid. It's like late midday. It's starting to I get figured, to evening. The sun's I just starting to I figure that we won't set. see each other for the rest of the day, perhaps. So I just, it's like, okay, bye. <laughs> you know? Makes sense. Um, uh, yeah. So she just waits for Arthal to leave and turns to the man and asks, uh, so about the compensation... Is it we're just being exploited here, or because I was told that there would be monetary compensation as well? He uh, is, well, to academia. <laughs> he kind of chokes on his drink as he was drinking it, and he looks at you. <laughs> monetary compensation. Mm -hmm. Um. walk with me for a moment and he just tries to kind of lead you off to the side she gets up and follows him but like a couple feet behind yeah Olsen uses summon sail and he decides to sit on it but he misses him liquid assets are something that we are not in the current possession of what we do have is many opportunities and resources that we can pull from and I believe with your current situation what was decided is that you requested some assistance with some rather interesting developments as you've had lately and the bird on your shoulder gives you a look am I 
mistaken? Um, she just looks at Trix and with just kind of this look of this guy <laughs> and you know, a little eye roll. She turns back to the man and simply states that no, I'm I'm just not in the habit of trusting people that make promises and uh, say words and you know, a lot of words but really has nothing physically to show for it other than, like you said room and board is willingly provided and as I am appreciative of that, there is other means or other things that you know people should be compensated for their time, do you not agree? <clears throat> if at any point in time you feel as though you are being mistreated or misguided or being taken advantage of at any way, you may feel free to leave, Miss Harbor. You are not being held here by any I circumstances know. or situation. But do know that making threats or sorry let me back from that if you are wanting to get something more out of this situation than what has already been tasked that can be discussed but if during this test during this research you want to start changing the conditions that is going to be difficult you do understand that correct oh no i understand simply just a question not i don't expect it I, s I should say just i was under different assumptions i suppose so and that is a bit out of my area of expertise i i myself am attempting to grow myself and push myself outside of boundaries of my very clean, tidy, and safeguarded laboratory. So I am attempting to socialize and communicate with my colleagues as well as any gestures to you, um, researchers. Uh, but do know that I, I am not in charge of any of the legal matters of our business. I am just simply the head research scientist here, but um, I do have a doctorate in a few many different things. Unfortunately, none of those are human resources. Um, so, uh, if you need anything, you can uh, discuss things with the head office and we can get things situated, but I, I would, I suppose, I would not be the person bringing it up to. Not, not to say that you can't bring things up to me, but I'm, I'm, I'm a bit lost at what your concern is, Miss Harper, and what you would like me to do about it. <laughs> she just kind of breaks out into laughter. She pats him on the shoulder. She goes, you could have just said that you have no control over that. And the conversation would have been done. <laughs> I, um, uh, mm. I'm sorry for pulling your leg so hard. Um, of course, you know, if you can't have anything done about it yourself, then I won't push it. Um, if I have other questions, I certainly will let you know. Very well. Uh, and then she just kind of uh, gives him a nod and goes to find a shuttle to take her back to her apartment. As you turn to walk away, uh, you hear his voice call behind you as he says, Take care of yourself, Miss Hopper. We are here I always here to do. Help. Very well. <laughs> Are there any other bits of business that you would all like to do before leaving uh, the compound and heading back to your 
dormitories. I want to check out the laboratory. Uh, which one? It's this whole thing. Um, where we are is a place called Bergenworth, which is almost sort of like a kind of swampy territory near the base of a dam. So there is a river that flows through here, but it's uh, lessened at this point. Uh, so it's this sort of marshland. Um, there's a lot of uh, natural rock formations and trees, and it's all very be beautiful. Um, there's actually a lot of nice rock uh, structures with water trickling off it. It's a very tranquil pace, for a lack of uh, better explanation. Um, but there are, uh, you know, like conics boxes and other constructed buildings with uh, simple pathways in between them. Um, it looks like a small research facility that is then accumulated and grown and almost in some way gives the feeling of a uh, janitorial closet of an actual uh, base. The amount of stuff that they are accomplishing here, the amount of buildings here, seems a bit much, but what they are capable of accumulating at this point in time. And uh, one of the, the biggest uh, conveniences that they've claimed is that the dam provides them with a lot of uh, power as well as the terrain and nature is very peaceful and useful for uh, the sense of uh, tranquility that they are trying to achieve and what they are doing here which is mainly psychological research and whatnot but there is also a few uh, side buildings that have nature and other things like that what specifically were you trying to investigate? Uh, I was just trying to see if there's any machinery or something that I recognize. Um, there is a lot of weird machinery. I'm not sure if any of it you recognize. This is almost a, a very different sort of setup than you're used to. Um, seeing sort of in the city and whatnot um, this isn't uh, your typical skyscraper and whatnot this is a lot of uh, weird hum I, again I'm trying not to go to like area 51 sort of thing but <laughs> okay. you know it it's just a bit off and not your typical sort of setup for a lot of this stuff Okay, uh, can I go ask uh, someone like in charge if they have anything for us to do before we leave? Uh, no. You, okay. you, you all will be taken back to your residences uh, for the evening, whether or not you have chosen to stay at their uh, designated dormitories that they are providing, or if you have uh, your own place of residence in the city. Uh, but basically, this this place is kind of far outside of the, the boundaries of the city, so they they have a designated uh, light rail system that will get you back. Okay. Then I leave. Okay. Anyone else? No, I think everybody else is gone now. Right. Okay. So about that bathroom. <clears throat> yes, you've used the bathroom. <laughs> Thank God. Roll to see if you missed the bowl. <laughs> no. What well, no. happened to the bathroom? Please don't make me do that. Please don't make me do that. Embarrass yourself. Do it. No. <laughs> they're they're used well, to cleaning. They wouldn't though. notice. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I think we can move on to the next <clears throat> map. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I thought that was a train for a second. It is. Yeah, it oh. is? I'm an idiot. Um, th there, there are... There are technically six parts of this uh, train. There is the um, 
there's the front where the actual engineer is driving it. Uh, her name is Cambria Aldridge. Um, she's about uh, in her early 20s. Uh, seems to be human, humanoid. Although, uh, I think her, her friend sort of uh, rats on her and says that she's a huma human and elf uh, halfling. But she, she tends to hide her ears beneath her uh, uh, long black and brown hair. It's, it's a weird combination of black and brown with different streaks. And she kind of keeps it uh, up in these big braids. Um, she kind of, uh, sta standing on the, the entrance as you guys board, she kind of gives a, uh, a, a very, uh, sort of, uh, sort of forced smile, but you can tell that she's maybe a bit awkward or just kind of, uh, nervous, um, gives a stiff bow, um, she says, hello, well, welcome, uh, aboard. I'll I'll be your I'll be your driver and we'll, we'll let's just get going. I'm sorry. Um, she just like gets on board. Um, oh, <clears throat> the, there is there's also the food cart towards the center um, where you can get refreshments and whatnot. Um, then there are uh, passenger cars which are these two here and these two here. Uh, however, they have informed you that the back car uh, is not open to access. They are using it to transform, uh, transport, sorry, some uh, equipment. Um, so that's what kind basically. Of equipment? <laughs> they have not Mystery. answered. <laughs> okay, that is up to you to decide. Uh, my question for you now is where would you all like to be sitting? I'm going to try to find. Back. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try to find like somewhere darkish. Okay. Uh, just like a dark place to kind of relax. Oh. I don't know if there is any on the tr- oh wow. Can I get a window seat so I can see the fancy. great view? Um, there aren't any typical window seats uh, on the- on the- in the side view. Um, they're- they're mostly upwards and vertical. Uh, if you want to see the like outside view. What? Looks like a prison. More than a train. <clears throat> what do you mean? I think it looks fine. I don't know. I think no it windows. looks like a train. It looks no, like a person? a person? Prison. No, 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 no. Oh, prison. prison. Yeah. Well, these are just supposed to be... You know there's, no, like, bars in a in a train normally for safety? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like being able to... Yeah, no, yeah. It looks... I think it just it looks good. in the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that is fair, I guess, yeah. <laughs> also, it doesn't matter where you sit, Olsen. No offense. I'm, just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised no one realized why I asked for a window seat. Oh, I, I noticed. <laughs> I just answered you honestly. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Eris just kind of points him in the direction of a quote window seat and just sits him down <laughs> it's like here okay gotcha yeah. um enjoy the view <laughs> and she just, just goes to the <laughs> do we have our stuff now or is all my stuff still back at my apartment um you you gathered up your clothes and you have your uh guitar for sure Hogs, okay. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said Don't. hogs. What's wrong hogs? with hogs? I've <laughs> never heard pogs before. You've never heard pogs no. before? I've heard poggers? of poggers, but not pogs. Yeah. Who's short? It's just... It? <laughs> Multiple pogs. Look. You've never heard pogs before? Get with the times, no. man. <laughs> pogs takes more to say than poggers. No, it doesn't. Pogs. Okay. It doesn't. It's one less syllable. Anywho, where are you guys sitting? <laughs> I'm going to the food cart. Okay. Um, there is uh, one other person that is on the the train with you. Um, his name is Damien. He is a he's a full elf. 
Um, he's got sort of black shortish hair. Um, and he does work the food cart in a way, but kind of also does general, uh, you know, service generally. Um, so he kind Train of walks stuff. around with a, a little cart sometimes. Uh, if you are taking notes, uh, just know that he can get you what you need. Uh, that his, oh. his person out. What? What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, what does that mean? <laughs> Stop being a why, why is, is your token not... Are you... Do not throw me off the map again. I don't know what's happening. It's not my fault. Oh, there we go. You have to shrink to get between the carts? No, you like, shouldn't. Oh my god, those are TVs. Okay. Oh, oh my god! The, not yeah. again! There's something here. Oh! I remember now. It's because this freaking thing that I'm using is an actual full block. That's what this is. It's a full block. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's so stupid. I it's hate a that. It's hazard, I see. <laughs> yeah, see, so you, you can stand be... on top of it even though there's nothing there. Yeah, the Unless you're oh teeny God. tiny Magic. and you can fit through it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I remember now. That's why I actually um, built the I'm rest of the I'm only a half part. vampire. I don't have flight, so can you put me down now? <laughs> All right. I shouldn't. <laughs> <clears throat> That's, I remember why I did it like this. Because then it's, then it's not actually blocking the main pathway. It's only blocking it like this right here. Anyways, it's, okay. it's stupid. I don't know why it's like that. Anyways, uh, you're at the food cart. Dope. What's everyone else doing? I'll also go to the food cart. Okay. Yeah. Get through the quote unquote window. <laughs> the window is right over here, and I'll just kind of point you to a random seat. We're all pointing him to a different seat as we go to ours. <laughs> here's the window, and here's the wall. Now, great pointing is I more of an expression. I'm like showing you. Well, I mean, I'm pushing you in that direction. I'm not literally pointing, more figuratively. Mm -hmm. Pointing you in the direction. Mm -hmm. I'm being pushed. Gently. No. I got I'll see. Okay. <laughs> what? Nothing. I just. <laughs> I'm thinking of funny things. My bad. Are you gonna share with the class? Nah, it's fine. I'll save it for later. Okay. Sorry. Concerning, um... but okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, Damien's uh, very nice and friendly. He's like, hey guys, is this your first time riding? I know that's that's just a little joke because he had to ride one of these to get here. Uh, anyways, uh, you want any snacks? You want any uh, wet naps or something? Or, you know, maybe I can get you some of those uh, backstreet uh, players if you want uh, a little entertainment on your ride. Excuse me? I'll take some snacks. Wait. I knew it. <laughs> Backstreet. What now? I'm sorry. Was... Yeah, you know, the boys. Uh? <laughs> the Who now? Where? No, no, not the Who. That's a different band. <laughs> oh, the Backstreet. Oh. I hate you for this. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> right. I hate well... you so much. Anyway, um... Anyway... I'll take a, I'll take a snack. Okay. Don't mock me. No, that was... No, that wasn't Damien. Damien wouldn't... Okay, I was gonna say, I will fucking eat you. <laughs> like, I won't, but I would. Damien would be the, the kind of smooth guy to be like, I need to get myself a friend like you, so that way I can get me a snack. Just I guess give me that's food. not smooth. Anyways, all right, yeah, you can see <laughs> some chips. I don't know what you want from me. 
more I can't I can't play characters that are far more sociable and well liked than I am. It's too hard of a challenge. You're just pretend you're one of the characters from Oran High School Host Club and you're set. All of yeah, those people are weirdos and don't. This is the point all over again. But they're sociable. <laughs> um, sure. Having people like them for no reason is sociable. All right. Uh, Arthur, Ardan, where did you. Someone wanted to be somewhere dark, and I'm not sure where that is, but... Artho. Um, that was yeah. me if there was a spot. If not, it's not, like, a big deal. Um, I mean, like, the, the food cart is, like, uh, is... Mo most of the train is white on black. The, I guess the food cart would be black on white. If that's where you want to go. It's dimmer in there. Burn, I guess, yeah. Yeah, we'll it, it's, a... it's more like a limo in here than a, a subway. Oh, I'll like um, <clears throat> sit in one of the corners and start playing, I okay. guess, or just doodling. And as I do that, I'm going to cast like guiding lights and have them dance around while I play. Dancing lights? Or dancing lights. I always get the yeah. name wrong. Yes. Okay. I'd like to ask Damien if he has any beer. <laughs> we do have a few choices of alcoholic beverages. Uh, what would you like? Uh, just whatever's on tap. Sure thing. Then I'm gonna go. That'll sit. be thirty-five gold, sir. Or I'll just put it on your tab. Thanks. And it's ma'am. <laughs> he oh. he salutes. What? <laughs> now it's was free. not referring to your your gender, sir. I need to refer to everyone here as, uh, because of my situation with my job here, I'm not allowed to fraternize with the prisoners, as it were. But what I can do Wait, is the prisoners. I'm sorry. That's a joke. What? That's a okay. joke. Okay, Damien, my friend. All right, this is a lady. What's up, my dude? <laughs> <laughs> I really <Cool>. hate Damien. <laughs> I really hate this kill at all. Yes. <laughs> you want to kill it? This no, always no, happens no. whenever I try to make a character that people are supposed to like. Everyone just hates him. <laughs> it's not that I. Hate I, you. I need to take all a right. walk. I'll be right back. <laughs> Good luck, Spill. <laughs> Wait, what's Wait, happening? Is Sparrow taking um, a walk? Or was that the character? Is Hello? Sparrow taking a walk or is Damien taking a walk? I'm confused. I think he's actually taking a walk. I think he's taking a walk. What is happening? He needs a mental break real quick. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't. He's back. I think he thinks we're upset at him, <laughs> but we're not. No, it's just that anytime he makes a kill with her like this, everyone wants to kill that kill with her immediately. Um, I don't want to kill him. I just, <laughs> I, I just I want do. him to, I just want him to stop hey. misgendering my friend. Hey. <laughs> I'm not alone. Let's kill him. No. It's very um, obvious that she's a female. Yeah, she's got Ooh. big honkers, so man. There's an honor riff. I mean, if you're using it as. I am like very a... aware of your friend's ton hunger cougars, but can we... <laughs> I mean, sir can be used as like a gender neutral grading in some <clears throat> dialects. Yeah, but right. He's just... just using it as like uh, a way of referring to you all as he is actually working for mm -hmm. the. He's technically working for the train system, but he upon taking this role, treats you all as not necessarily customers, but people that he is working for. That's the way mm. he likes to see it. And I'm sorry I misconstrued that to you all. No, it's okay. It's funny. I think it's hilarious. Cool. <laughs> Save me on like a robber or something. <laughs> what? Is, is he like a robot or something? A robot? Yeah. No, he's an elf. An elf. Oh. Oh, he's an elf. Okay, that explains it. 
Oh no, I'm gonna use this. I think I'm just gonna sit on the floor, kind of in an opposite corner, but watch the dancing lights and listen to the music while I drink. Okay. Uh, the floors in here are actually kind of slightly cushioned, so yeah, you can totally do that. <laughs> Upholstered floors. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll probably just take my snack and sit next to Arthel and listen to the music. Okay. I want to go and check the back of the train. Okay. <laughs> we. You get to the door, um... And as there are doors leading in between the train, uh, you can actually get to this point, but the door leading into the back uh, thing is closed. Okay. Is there all a the way other to doors, separate the wagons? All the other doors open when you approach, but this one stays closed. What did you say? Is, is there a way to like uh, separate the, race, the rest of the train? From it, like what? <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> okay, is there a way to break that to to separate like the rest of the train from the back of the train? So I don't know, kind of like steal half of the train. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you want you want to disconnect the yes. the train part? Okay. This man. Can I? Um, you wouldn't know how to do that, but you get the idea okay. that it's probably automated and done from the actual control of the front. Um, okay. Basically, there there is a line. Uh, let's see. <laughs> there is a line that like cuts between the two uh, things, and I don't know if you can actually see, but there is like an actual energy beam that connects them, that's tethering okay. them. Just touch it. So be between these two sections, uh, it actually does. Uh, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Like, be between that, uh, it is two sections that shake uh, and rattle, and mostly when they go around turns, you can notice. But uh, other than that, you don't necessarily see any, you know, interfaces or mechanical. Uh, levers or clasps or uh, what? What are you? What are you trying to find? What do you want to do? I wanted to disconnect that part of the train <laughs> just to like see if it like crashes and I can steal whatever they have in there. Why would Why? you do that, Gabriel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah, let me then just I, destroy I a. Five minutes <laughs> in. Five minutes in. Hmm, let's rob okay. the. Oh. Uh, it was a good idea. No, it's not even Rob. It's just let's just get rid of this cargo and make these people's <laughs> jobs that much harder. Yeah. <laughs> I should what, be on, like, and would put on the stand of head? That's my question. you destroyed millions of government property and pharmaceuticals, and why did you do this? I don't know. Bored. <laughs> Felt like it. Right. I don't know. Jesus. I have high intelligence, low low wisdom. I guess it's like, okay. <laughs> that doesn't mean that peanuts. you're. I have to break things. But... No, don't. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Can I, I guess can I go I back and him... like try to steal food. I mean, or... you can see him walk <laughs> past you, probably going in a beeline to the. I'm literally gonna get up and go out there with him and just be like, "What are you doing?" I'm sorry, um, but you know, it's just taking some air. Okay. <laughs> you wanna you wanna come back inside? Okay. Cause I I I just smell you're doing something <laughs> stupid you out smell? here. So. <laughs> I smell. You smell? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. What is that? Damien, shut your elf lot. mouth. That wasn't Damien. <laughs> 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 Damien would never be these. so rude. <laughs> Damien is <know>. rude. <laughs> no. I can, okay, I I can smell that. it. 
<laughs> uh, Damien does approach and says, uh, uh, hello? Is there something that I can assist you with? No, my friend here is just very stupid and lost, and I'm bringing him back into the card now. Okay, I want to go Don't back. worry about it. But I don't want to talk to Damien. Okay. <laughs> Apparently nobody does. I'm talking to Damien. Okay. I, no, I said nobody I like wants Damien. to talk to him. Oh. Da well, I'll talk to you, Damien. So I'm trying to keep my friend from, like, making your job hard. No, so. it's okay. The way I pretend that I actually have friends is by pretending everyone's my friend. I'm not sad and lonely. It's fine. You know the way to remedy that is get actual friends. <laughs> oh, you're old, funny. Uh, like it's that easy. Your ocean say in the back. Lonely. From the opposite end of the train. Okay. Yep, but he screams that loud. <laughs> hey Damon, I'll be your friend. And if I say you lower yep. the cost of the booth. That's a crazy coincidence Ooh. that someone yeah, just happened you... to scream lonely. <sighs> if you have, if you foot the bill for our snacks and. Her beer. Need... We'll no. be your friends. Oh, He's just saying, okay. No. I see. Bribery uh, is bribery is the second best way to make friends. I was under the impression that you all had your food paid for. I was under the impression that you smell. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She doesn't say that. <laughs> we gotta stop her. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Um, I, you know what, honestly, we were brought into this not knowing a lot, so, you know, if you say that our food's covered, then our food's covered and we're friends already, so that's great. Okay. And she just smiles and her kind of fangs that look like just really sharp teeth just kind of you know she's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh and don't mind Bree too much she's uh not used to dealing with people that's why she wanted to be a pilot I suppose drive trains you know it's kind of weird but like people that drive buses and whatnot are the people that least want to be around other people mm -hmm. you ever notice that no. Okay. <laughs> but no, that's no, that's if you've observed that, then that, I believe you. I'm not saying don't give her a hard time, but you know, just know that she's not being intentionally rude if she marches off and doesn't say anything to your face. She's. Uh... I just think she's shy. That's a word for it. She's an adorable little thing. Oh. But, you know. Anyway. Um. Oh my god. She just turns to see Raoul just like <laughs> chucking down the beer. <laughs> Raoul? <laughs> Raoul. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. And she just like hides in the corner. <laughs> okay. Just, like, I don't know how to continue cool. this conversation, so I'm gonna run away now. <laughs> no, this is great. This is great. <laughs> Other people uh, do stuff. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Sorry. I want to go back in the food truck and um, in the food part of the train and grab some food for later. <laughs> okay. You do that. Osin gets up and decides to walk, but he accidentally walks into the wall. <laughs> you get okay. an egg after. Please. There is no bathroom on the train. Damn it! Oh my god. What do you do? Just stick your butt off the edge? No! You can, like, <laughs> what the fuck? like what most you? trains, there is not a bathroom. I think the idea is that what? you go before or after the 
train goes. It's, it's like, like a bus. Like, oh, hold, up, hold up, I'd just like to say one thing. To the guy that said, what, you just stick your butt out the window? Is that what you normally do when you're in that situation? Yeah, especially on the highway, you know, when you're going like 80 miles per hour. That's it. Oh my god. You do not <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I'm going to continue playing my instrument and make the lights dance. <laughs> okay. Um, Damien, do you know how long this, uh, trip is back into society? <laughs> that question felt a bit charged, but, uh, shouldn't be more than an hour or two, maybe? Hmm. Why is it hmm. so far? I... Weird. I don't know the reason why this... Excuse me. Oh. I, I just got a bunch of burps out of nowhere. <laughs> no worries. I, I mean, if I... Good? I don't know why the compound is so far, or why your residence is so far off base, but, uh... You know, I live in London, but I travel all over the place when I'm working here. It's You seem to have a lot of questions for someone who should know I'm not going uh, to cry. I would mention that the reason they do that is because property damage costs a lot of money. We did kind of blow a mech up. No, that was just, that was like a well no, I guess you're right. Would anyone like to do an insight check? Absolutely. Okay. I think we'll both do an inside check since we're in this conversation. You can also roll investigation if you'd like. Oh, investigation. Okay. I'm gonna go. Uh, what, what are we looking for? Uh, awesome. To That's a nat one. To to <laughs> attempt to figure out why the compound is so far outside of the city limits. Wait. Um. Investigation or inside is what? You can roll either insight or investigation. Yeah, yeah I know which is insight. Okay. For trying to figure out why the compound is so far outside the city. No, yeah. I know, but it's so it's it's uh, intelligence or cons like. It doesn't a have special it on my thing screen. For it. If you if you go oh, to your skill, you should be able to just click on it. Yeah. Oh. And it'll roll for you. Sorry, I'm done. The modifier. Yeah. Good. Uh. Um, that is a 12. Hmm. I got a 15. Okay. Seems like uh, an experimental type of situation, so you don't know if it's because they're doing weird stuff or strange stuff or new stuff that it's a way for a reason, or if they've just kind of gotten the just a random thing assigned to them, and that's just where they're at. For whatever. I am, Do you think? I'm sure it's just because Paige doesn't like to be around people. You that's know, absolutely the reason. That's fair. I would I would base my entire operation on it, that exactly. <clears throat> that's what happens when you're rolling at one. <laughs> Man, it seems like everyone around here has people problems. Excuse me? Hmm? Are you saying I have people problems? I mean, you seem to have problem with people. <laughs> I'll giggle under my breath. The fact that you got so defensive over something immediately? I don't know, I just... You like to assume a lot of things about people. I just want to know what's up with that. This is the first thing that I've assumed. What, meanwhile, you've assumed at least 12 things in the past couple minutes. I'm just spitting facts here. My she good just, sir. She turns to Arthel and whispers, Can I eat him? Is that... Mm. I don't like blood that much, you know? Like, I hate that part of myself, but it's- I'm so tempted. Sometimes. I agree with you, Damien. Um, I'm gonna with... have to ask you to clarify. <laughs> yeah. 
huh? what you mean by that? Oh, I meant like not not like God damn it. <laughs> there are so many mean things that I want to say right now that are not Damien. That's not what I performed in a lot of dive bars. I apologize. But um no, don't do that. That would be bad. Fine. Uh, he would probably die, if not suffer severe body damage, I would imagine. Honestly, the worst thing that he could that could happen to him is he just passes out for a little while, to be honest. If you ate him? Wait a minute, maybe we are talking about what I thought first? No, 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 no. That would- no, like... I'm, I'm just Never confused. mind. Never mind. I, I am just, so just, sorry. Never mind. Forget this conversation ever happened. I don't want to talk. <laughs> yeah, please don't hurt that man. Okay. I'm gonna go back to playing. Damien excuses <laughs> himself to go check on the, the back cart. Like, he, he's usually doing his rounds up and down, but like, everybody's in the food cart right now, so that's why he was mostly hanging out. I'm gonna, as he's leaving, I'm gonna be like, I still like you. He just kind of As gives leaves. you a, a two finger salute. I never said that I didn't like him. I just it frustrates me. I don't know. People are annoying. Elves are annoying to me mostly. That's racist. Ooh. Okay, well, I haven't had a lot of good experiences with elves. My bad. <laughs> Wait, I don't like elves either. Can we kill Damien? <laughs> no. Why? No, are you I'm all... not going. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reason. <sighs> you can eat it, though. You're gonna eat him. No, I'm not <laughs> going to eat. Yes. It was a joke, and it did it it. turn into not a joke, and then. Ugh. Good. 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 Hey, if you're gonna eat him, can I have the eyes? What? I'm gonna grab a be another beer and move. To the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's. Oh my God. We're not going to eat him. I wasn't going to. It was a joke. And well, I was telling the other one because now they want the eye. Damien Does walks back into the room. But he won't go uh, hi. I mean, her mouth is big enough, but I think it's currently <laughs> occupied by her foot. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me. So about those eyes. <laughs> no. Yeah. She's... Eris is just gonna get up and just move to the engine of the car to go sit with the quiet half elf girl. <laughs> just not talk. <laughs> okay. So you actually want to attempt to enter the cockpit? Gosh dang it! I hate these stupid things. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you're 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 just behind Damien, uh, and he was actually just about to enter as well. He's like, oh. You want to meet Bree as well? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And he actually mm -hmm. opens the door uh, and allows you to enter as well. That's Just so don't cool. touch anything, okay? <laughs> How's it going, Bree? He comes over and just leans on her and she's like, ah, I'm fine. <clears throat> What's going on? How are the passengers doing? Doing all right? He looks back and gives you a look. Hmm? What? Oh, right. Hi. Uh, you're really not supposed to be in the upfront car. Kind because? Of, uh, well, one, it's uh, employees only. It's very sensitive material stuff up here, so trees don't touch anything. Damien, you're really not even supposed to be up here while we're currently running. Ah, oh, look at the view. So many good windows here. I'm really upset by how many windows there are here in the 
the train. Oh, it's not a train, you. it's a trap. Where's my damn window? <laughs> Shut up, you're not a part of the scene. Uh, and then Bree, like, kind of goes off on, like, describing the differences between trains and trams. Uh, she seems very knowledgeable on the subject, and Damien's kind of, like, I don't know, shrugs his shoulders. You seem to know a lot of things about transportation. I try to busy myself with knowing as much that makes me capable for my job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you like trains? Um, oh, when I was little, my dad took me on a train a couple of times. Family events would be the only time that we would really get out of the house. Um, yeah, I mean, trains are fun. Damien pipes in and says, I'm more of a car guy. You look oh like a car God. guy. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. You just look like a car guy. It's not an insult. He gets down on all fours and goes, broom. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? You said I look like a car guy. Yeah, you look like, you know what? He stands back up and dusts himself off. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to pretend. I didn't see that. Uh, also, you should go show that to Arthel. I bet she would love to see your car impression. That's, uh, uh, maybe I will. Yeah, no, do it. You were really good at it, honestly. Do you think both of you could go have this discussion somewhere else? No offense, but I am trying to drive a plane. A I, what? I mean, drive a tram. Could you, uh, a... You're distracting me. I'm sorry. And you sorry. can see that she's like got her hands holding her face. All right. No, if it makes you more comfortable, I'll go. I just wanted to. Damien I've kind never of gives been... like a nod with his head, like, "Come on, let's go." Okay. Well, let's... bye. I guess. See you later. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Doors close. She is incredibly shy. Yeah, I don't know why she tried to get a job working in public transport. But mm. I guess she assumed that working for this small organization would be... Well... Far enough away from most people, I suppose. And to be fair, it is. But mm -hmm. not secluded enough, apparently. Mm. Anyways, I try not to bother too much, but... Mm. I do try to give her gentle nudge from time to time. Mm -hmm. Right. Remind her that she does live in the real world with other people, and that's fine. And she's fine. You know, it's important to help remind people that we're all just people, you know? That kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. No, anyway, you're right. What? What? What did you say? Nothing, I'm talking to my raven, and she just starts walking to the back of the train again. <laughs> no, that was a dungeon master asking what you said. Oh, no, I don't. I Okay. Nothing. <laughs> uh, Damien says, uh, so how did you get to be part of this position? Um, you know, it's... <sighs> and then we go into a flashback. <laughs> and we are... This is the first time that you have come across, uh, shoot, I can't find it in my notes where it is. Elevator music. Do, 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 no. do, do. Um, let, let me pose this question to you. Mm-hmm. When, when was the first time you got the res got an actual response back from your prayers? From wait, what, who? what? 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 Where in your life were you when you got your 
uh, actually your got response that your prayers were heard. Oh, my prayers. All right, try, try. Um, I think it was uh, the night of her 16th birthday. And what were you doing at that point in time? Um, I think she said a little uh, prayer or, I mean, sending out a message uh, in her head, uh, you know, hoping for some sort of contact as she had been for like months and months and months uh, before then. Um, and, and is she this kinda... your usual uh, routine that you just like do a prayer every single night or is this something special because of your birthday? Um, she, it's, I think she does it, it's like a special thing for her birthdays. Um, I know she always would like kind of try to reach her thoughts out maybe every night before bed, but she wouldn't, um, she would like, her birthday is the time that she would really sit down and like actually um, pray. What what sort of prayer is it? Is it because you are in a tough situation or are you just, why, why were you praying? Um, I think it's because, uh, it's every year she is another year of just kind of loneliness. Um, like her father would never let her play with kids outside of, you know, her family that they would meet everyone so often, but, um, so kind of like a maybe this year will be different um, and I'll reach out again. Maybe she'll answer kind of a thing. So you had uh, pretty much sheltered childhood. You weren't allowed to interact with anyone. So this is your way of like yeah. crying, cry for help, silent cry for help. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is at that moment when you have that prayer that you actually hear something off in the distance and it's not what you expected from a prayer it's not a Mm -hmm. omnipresent voice that filters through your mind or uh, the floor shaking or candles blowing out instead uh, down the hall you hear a thunk against glass Uh, she gets up and kind of dusts her legs off a bit from being on the floor uh, and she kind of looks over at her window and kind of squints her eyes at it uh, and just kind of she walks up to it slowly and not sure what it was uh, she can't really see anything because it's dark and there's only a couple of candles lit What is it you're looking at? You turn around and see your dad standing in the doorway. Oh, uh, father, I didn't hear you come in. Uh, hmm. I I think tree branch or something might have hit the window. I just, um. <sighs> Why do we even pay to have gardeners? I'll have them look at it in the morning. Oh, okay. Um, Gives you a long look. uh, So. You're growing into a fine young woman. Thank you. Did you, um, enjoy your birthday? Oh, yeah. No, it, everything was great. Um, the, the gifts from the aunts uh, were wonderful cousins all that uh, new dresses <laughs> and everything um, it's at this moment that you realize that he has his hands behind him uh, she just kind of continues to babble on about little things and as she's kind of tilting her head and 
trying to look behind him and leaning on one leg a little bit more <laughs> as he kind of gives a slight smile and then he slowly pulls uh, an elegant box around in front of him and he just kind of stares not at the box but just sort of towards the floor ignoring you for several long seconds to a moment that it's uncomfortable before he speaks and says your mother wanted you to have this my my mother he doesn't look up at you and instead slowly opens the box and looks at it and you can see the muscles in his neck tighten as he chokes back something but after Father. staring at it for a moment he turns it around to face you and inside of this box is a necklace oh Ooh. she kind of walks up to him and the, um, stares at it the jewelers <laughs> took um, a while refitting it to uh, uh, be shorter so, so, but I figured it was about time you had this. She kind of gently picks it up and holds it and kind of doesn't really look at him. And He quickly sets the box aside and kneels down and almost against your will, he says, here, let me help you put it on. Oh, oh okay, thank you. unclasps it and maneuvers you and places it around your neck, holding on to it for a little bit longer before gently releasing it and resting his heavy, heavy hands on your shoulders. Thank you, Father. It's beautiful. Um, <clears throat> are you... Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I I just I know that you don't like talking about it, um, so I. Yeah. Um, do. You, I. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what what were you gonna say? No, I just, um, thank you for this. Um, I love it. It's my favorite present. She just kind of half smiles and she doesn't want to, you know, bring up any hard memories or feelings about it. Uh, he uh, other, any rubs further. his hands together for a moment before resting uh, a knuckle against your chin and kind of look at you. Do you know what the hardest part about being a parent is? Uh, the terrible twos? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if only uh, that were the hardest part. Sometimes the hardest part about growing up is moving on and realizing that you can't control everything, no matter how hard you try to. And realizing that someday to grow up no matter how many boundaries you put in how much you teach them they will always do whatever they were always going to do and you have to be okay with that they're gonna grow up and they're going to just really surprise you and even more than you ever planned for. 
more than you could ever hope for. You're being very mushy right now. Are you dying? Please tell me you're not dying. Hmm. <laughs> I would say we're all dying, but not for people like you and me. And he stands up. I can't keep you locked up in here forever, but I hope I've taught you what I could, and you maybe take some of that to heart. Of course. Thank you again for the necklace. Good night, you must... Iris. Good night, Father. And he stomps down the hallway. She, like, kind of peeks out the door and makes sure that he's far enough away that and then she closes the door and runs to the window again. You look around and you don't see anything. Well, what the fuck was that, then? <laughs> I am... What was that indeed? It was quite mushy. Ah! Ah! And you look over your shoulder and you see a bird. <laughs> She's just kind of like... What are you looking at? Ah, uh, you're a bird. Why are you here? What? And you're talking? You talk? Yes. Oh my goodness, it's a dampier. It can talk. What are you doing here? I'm not a damp. I'm what? I'm a half. What? What are you? The blackbird blinks its eyes and looks at you. My name is Trix, and. Well, little lady? I suppose I'm just about the best birthday present. <laughs> and that's when we cut back. She's just like laughing when I like hysterically. Yeah, so that's um that's how I got here. <laughs> okay. That's the whole story. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a interesting story. Mm-hmm. What's everyone else been up to? Murdering. Okay. Who have you been I'm murdering, my child? <laughs> Who have you been murdering? We're all broke out. Just some random people. No idea how they were on the scene or anything, but they're dead now. Is Damien here? <laughs> I've been practicing for him. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's Calm your turn now, Damien. Once I'm fine, you. <laughs> Where are you, Damien? <laughs> I want to grab Olsen okay. and point him in the direction. Wow, pointing me in the direction. Thank you. Yeah, like pushing you that way. Why is everyone pushing me? <laughs> because you don't see. You have a fair point. Oh, wow. I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue doing what I was doing unless someone interacts with me. I wanna ask Arthel why she kept talking about college in the simulation. Well, you got it. It's it's expensive, you know. You ever uh, ever think about getting yourself an education? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think that's the place for me. Oh, yeah, makes sense. 
Ooh. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I'm very small, so... Well, yeah, I don't know about very small. requirement for college. Oh, no, I just mean, like, I don't think I would do well in your line of work. <laughs> I think you probably would. I used to be a entertainer. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. What did you do? Uh, I beat people with a baseball bat. Okay, Holy so God. a different kind I of thought, Yeah, I was thinking of a stripper. For observers. What kind of entertainer is that? <laughs> okay, well, I'm a little bit less rough. <laughs> uh, you know, I did this. It doesn't. It probably pays less, but I don't know. Do you get to keep the money when you murder them? Sometimes, some of it. I don't murder them. Oh, well, fair enough. Usually. Fair enough. <clears throat> he doesn't murder them. He moiters them. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's really about a fifty-fifty. If you die or not when you step in the ring, you know. Oh, no, I just uh wanted to do a little bit better for myself, and I can't imagine another reason for me to be marching around in the mud, getting killed by dragons. It's not really my my fault. I'm not... You know, I don't need eyes or anything. Oh, Sins is slowly eyes, turning his head towards where the voices <laughs> are coming from. I don't need any <laughs> other eyes. Thank you. Uh, by, by the way, if you're in here, um, I had a question for you. One who eats eyes. Eats eyes? What? Wears eyes. It's it's humor. I um, I'm sorry, I forgot. Not we don't do that here. Um, yeah, the <laughs> one who takes eyes out of the other person's socket and puts them in their sockets. Um, would you take mine if I died? Okay. No wrong answers. Just asking for a friend. <laughs> I'd hate to be your friend. You don't need to Dance. be there for that. Do you wear glasses? Yes, I wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep yours. Sounds good. For now. Good to know. For no, now. I, I plan to keep them as long as I'm alive. I just want to clarify. Was that in question? I, I read over the contract, but I'm not the best at reading. I, I'm more singing and like, play my instrument. So did I miss, a, did I miss something? I'm gonna look at. All I know is that. I don't remember signing anything. I'm sorry, I just spilled. I just spit water all over my microphone. I'm gonna look over at Rebel Razor. Was there. Did I miss that part of the car? I get to keep my eyes, right? I know my eyes are staying in my head, so I'm sure yours can too. That sounds good. I like you. I mean, um, if they tell me I shouldn't, then I guess I won't take you. Yeah, don't don't take mine. Uh, that's that's good. Anyways, yeah, um, yeah, yikes. But yeah, no, I just uh, yeah, you know, doesn't pay a lot, and uh, food's expensive. Thought maybe if I, uh, you know, get get <laughs> education, I might get a better job, but. Yeah, who knows? Well, food's free here. That's true. That's true. Education. I never went to school, and look how I ended up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I tell you? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. I know. Okay, I sure yeah. as hell can't look how I ended up. Yeah. I. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, can sometimes. Oh dear. Mind if I borrow your eyes? <laughs> yes, I would mind. I'll give them back, don't worry. <laughs> no. Just not in the same condition. Yeah, no. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Look at that. So what are you... So what are you here for? Rebel. Rabble, but word uh, that I can't say. Rabble rouser. Rabble rouser. Uh, and free food I'm... and a bed to sleep on at night. Makes sense. Makes sense. That's when I'd like to do another cutaway. Box. 
What? I said pogs. Cut away. It's cool. Pogs. I said. <laughs> I just. Okay. Anyways, I'm muting. <coughs> Ravel, you have just completed another bout. One that you were warned more than offered that you should lose for your sake. But you don't do that. You don't swing that way. You fought real. You fought hard. And you won, once again. And you turned out better than the person who you beat up. But you know that the true fight is the beating that comes after you get off that stage. And now you're limping your way back to your normal hidey hole when you bump into a stranger on the street. And they kind of look at you curiously for moving on. Where do you normally go to hide when you're done for the evening? Probably the closest, cheapest tavern. Okay. Yeah, you make your way to uh, a local dive and begin drowning your sorrows. It's at this point where an, an old friend walks up to you. Hey, Rabble. How's it hanging, man? Comes and sits uh, down beside you. Hanging. I had a name for him, but I can't remember. How about you tell me a name? Who, who's the name of your friend? Damien. Uh, what is no. He? <laughs> what is he? Uh, you tell me, man. Um, he is an orc named Devilo. Devilo. How long are you gonna keep uh, fighting for that? that pit over there? Don't seem to be treating you too well. I gotta make money somehow. This is all I've done. The uh, orc taps a finger on the bar, thinking. What if you didn't have to do any work? What if you didn't have to worry about money or food or shelter? What would you want to do? I mean, that's the dream. I don't know what I'd do. That seems too far out of reach. You gotta have dreams, man. That's how you uh, keep moving on and, you know, you're fighting for something. You don't just want to stay here for the rest of your life, do ya? Man, I guess if I had the funds, I'd just live a peaceful life. Maybe somewhere out in the countryside. Try to get away from it all. Well, funny you should say that, because I, uh, I got an offer, actually. But, uh, told him that I knew a friend that would probably be better suited. And it's out in the country. What do you think of that? Sound bad? What is it? Free food, free shelter. All you gotta do is show up. Gotta yeah. ask you questions. Poke and prod at you a little bit. You know, normal doctor stuff. Just wanna get a read on you. Sounds like a good deal. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be too oppressed just to take it myself, but, uh... No, you've been having it hard lately, so figured it's a pretty easy job. And to be perfectly honest, I think you'd 
do you some good to get you out of these streets. At least for a while. I appreciate it, brother. I might take that up. He uh, places a hand on your shoulders. I'll mention it. And then, within the next few days, he introduces you to a doctor. He gets you situated. And then we come back. Martha was asking, like, how how did you get here or something? Or I don't remember. Or she why asked, are you here? Yeah. The free food and bed. Easy life. I'm back. What has Olsen been up to? Actually, what is Artan? Urithor? In Artan? Yeah, that's fine. I guess it's Thorithor right now because it's a evil one. Okay. Can't did wait you, to find out that one. Sorry. Did, did you attempt to go to the back again? Since Damien no, no, was, that's okay. Are good. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I was just hanging out in there. Yeah. Are we all like having flashbacks? That was sort of the kind of gist, but I also wanted to give you guys freedom to do stuff, just because there was a lot of stuff that you guys were trying to do, but I really wanted to cut in and do some stuff, so I wasn't sure if I was railroading too much. Oh, that's that's great. Okay, uh, can I have my flashback for an hour? Oh, sure, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I've never actually had someone ask me before if, like, hey, can I do a flashback? <laughs> so, yeah, sure. I'd request a flashback. <laughs> Dungeon I Master, on the next... <laughs> I will have my flashback now. Sky Daddy, a flashback, please. A flashback, please. I want to look in, into one of those windows. Flashback windows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... What has life been for you the past few months? Life before okay. getting to be a part of this very strange, exclusive community of uh, pharmaceutical and uh, training and all this weirdness. What what were you up to before any of this? Which probably at the current time seemed abnormal, but compared to what you're doing currently seems considerably more normal okay so um, I used to be like a potion seller or something like that and then some elves killed my family so that's kind of my backstory and I have multiple personality disorders so I'm tr what I'm trying to do right now with the um, whole experiment thing is to kind of like cure that issue and not have the other personality back but it's like both personalities want to do the same thing but okay. yeah uh, how do you think you heard about uh, what did I call it I think the the, the place is referred to as uh Bergenworth Pharmaceuticals, but I don't know if the actual company or the group was referred to as that. But how did you hear about this job opportunity? 
Uh, so I was a researcher uh, or maybe like a ocean solar. So I was kind of into uh, scientific, scientific stuff. Uh, so I guess like uh, the good personality wanted to kind of get rid of the other one because the other one was not that great. Uh, so kind of looking for a solution and I was offered this because obviously having a, that kind of issue was hard for me to uh, get a stable job and all that. So um, do you think you work to be uh, one of the uh, participants of this situation or... Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I also hate elves because they kill my family. You ate them? Hate. Oh, that's yeah. a big difference. <laughs> yeah, but... Let's eat, Grandma. All right. I don't know. Someone else can have their flash drive right now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think you are working in a probably like a part-time job at uh, some, uh, I don't know, probably some research facility of, uh, sorry, I'm like trying to come up with this on the spot. Right. Um, when one of your co-workers uh, comes to you excitedly and says, Hey man, I think you actually got. Uh, I heard you got a transfer. Oh, yeah. I've been trying to find a solution to my problem for uh, for some time, and this seems to be uh, my way out of it. That's pretty interesting. Being able to. Yeah outside of the the big city and go to some far off uh, experimental research facility it's, I mean that's kind of what we all dream for but I think like for you it seems like it's more than that more than just your job yeah I think it's going to be interesting uh, I hope this this has a solution uh, because it's cannot keep going like this well I know things have been hard for you but know that you got this you know don't don't try so hard you know just mm -hmm. do your job and do what you're supposed to do and just keep going I guess you just I take know. things one thing at a time and Try not to get focused on, I don't know, big picture stuff, I guess. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's the last thing that you say to this person? Um. Whether you realize it or not. I guess I promise that uh, next time I see them, I'm going to be uh, myself and not the other one. Um, that we're going to have a drink together. They just give a, a knowing nod. All right. Okay. Does anyone else want to have a flashback or should we come back to the train? I want oh, another no. one. Mm. All right. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. You can't have seconds until everyone else had first. <sighs> Lame. I know. I, I, I don't know. I can have one if you want. Okay. Okay. You are doing one of your... Mm. You know occasional street performances you know in between jobs just sort of out in the street probably just gotten a meal or some kind or whatnot hoping to get a little extra cash and 
as people are walking by or giving tips and some people are standing just enjoying um, a figure walks up uh, in this sort of full uh, sort of regalia that seems a little disconcerting to see them in this uh, full body kind of uh, almost it's it's almost like a hazmat suit but more I guess form-fitting and stylish and uh, I don't know how to describe it but I did put a picture in chat uh, and they come up and pull something out of their pocket and uh, place it into your the, the case your guitar case and it looks like it's a, a folded card and they just sort of walk off and there's a few uh, people that are standing by that sort of make a break and like allow them to walk through the crowd some some sort of slight murmurs as they watch as this figure walks away uh, I'll kind of side of myself don't these people know this is just supposed to be for money take a kind of a oh sorry I thought I lost audio there for a second oh. I'll take kind of a peek into the bag does it just look like a folded piece of paper like a note or something yeah what it is is it's a card for the head lundman uh, research facility and it has the the normal information on the front with like the logo and the name of the business and you know uh, contact information and then on the back it has like the inspirational quote of looking for uh wait where is it I actually have it written down in my notes. Anyways, it, it's something like uh, looking for better opportunities. Come, come with us. Ba basically, it's the idea of together we can like become something better or whatnot. Right, but like the well, idea is that we all need help sometimes. Uh, and then there is a handwritten note that said, uh, "Ask for Doctor Leonard Page. He can help." Well, I'll finish up the performance just kind of like normal, and then I'll, as I'm packing up, I'll take a look at it. I'll just kind of side of myself. God damn it, this is probably another one of those fucking. Oh. I forget what they're called. Uh, gigs. Probably not going to get anything out of this. Science assholes. I'll go ahead and pick everything up, and then I guess I'll head over and see what it's about. Okay. And the situation is that there is a new experiment group that you can uh, request and I guess not audition for but there will be some checks and balances met and some questions but basically the idea is that if you want help people can help mm -hmm. you picked me for this? Uh, I don't think you 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 meet the same person again. That, oh, okay, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but but the note says ask for Doctor Leonard Page, and if you do, then you find out about yeah. the the special assignment. And just even knowing his name already tips a few people off that you seem to have some sort of recommendation, so people kind of put you through. This isn't my normal gig, but, you know, I definitely work for a couple of pubs, got free room and food. That was a cushy job. I guess I can take this. What's all this about some questions, though? Normally I just play the guitar and, you know, do my thing. Am I going to be heckled? Is this kind of like a heckling thing? What's going on? You're, you're in a, a small office with... You know, some bookcases on the back side and you're sitting across the desk from a man with a, a big grizzled beard uh, it's salt and pepper gray I uh, think you misunderstand the situation here what we are doing here 
Lundman Institution is coming up with new changes in science and finding ways to progress past the, the norm. And that starts with working with people. You know, especially right now, a lot of people are looking at Lundman Institution and thinking that we're only helping those that have the monetary wealth in order to afford us. This is one of those chances to actually reach out to the people and help give them a chance for us to prove something and for you as well. When we ask questions and, you know, we won't go into any sort of research into documentation of whatever your life was before this. We're going to be starting fresh. We're going to be making a full new, completely separate track of your life. So this is a more than just an opportunity. This is a fresh start, a brand new attempt. So don't take this offer lightly, but also don't feel pressured to as well. It's a very unique circumstance. Once in a lifetime opportunity, maybe not, hopefully. Hopefully we'll be able to do this more, but just know that uh, you are welcome here and you will be heard. Okay, okay, so let me let me see if I get what you're putting down here. You, I'm gonna be, I'd imagine some, like a PR thing, like, oh look, we're helping the, the poor people here for the company, which I'm fine with, by the way. I don't care. I'm too... I like food. So, and then... Um, Amen. And then... Uh, so we have that, and then... What exactly do you want me to be doing? I was about to say, I don't know what information you'd get from a... a little... straight musician. I don't seem like I'd be very interested. Not that I'm complaining, of course. So, what do you mean by a new start exactly? Am I gonna have to stop playing music? No, 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 no. No, I meant like, uh, whatever sort of history you've got, we, we won't be delving into that. So, don't worry about that. that you just were me. wondering why we would be asking questions. It's because we need to get a full diagnostic of your profile before we can begin, so. I understand, well, uh, what do I have to lose? He uh, goes to speak and then stops himself and actually considers it. I guess that depends on what you hope to gain. That's where the flashback ends. Olson, do you want to go next? Olson? Okay. Yeah, I'll go. You are meandering through the muddy streets. Your body is slicked with multiple liquids and you are just trudging, moving, just getting away. You have experienced multiple homeless nights, fighting your way off of different beggars or ruffians in the streets, none of which have gone well for either side. You are barely alive at this point. What are you thinking in this moment? 
How are you feeling? What are you going to do? <laughs> Did you just turn your Xbox on? Ah, oh, shit, you can hear that. Uh, give me one. Iconic sound. Uh, don't mind the Xbox, sorry. No, Brain it's binge. fine. Oh, you uh, didn't want to have a flashback. That's fine. You can be playing Xbox. Nope, nope, I want one. Call of Duty. No call, that's ladle. <laughs> Hungry. So hungry. I'm guessing, yeah, he's just thinking about food at this point. Okay. You've probably done some dumpster diving at this point. Ew. You gotta do what you gotta do, alright? <laughs> Indeed. I think it's on one of these lonely nights, struggling to survive, that uh, you actually hear the sound of multiple people running in your direction. What do you do? And I think, like, one of them even calls, like, Here he is. He's over here. He probably thinks his, uh, cops is normal, so he just quickly turns and just starts running away. He wasn't gonna allow himself to get caught. Not now. Make an athletics check. God damn it. typically make rolls and flashbacks, but this is too good. It's just for me, a special occasion. Yeah. I feel like it gives substance. Got a six. Brilliant. As you turn to run, you instantly trip over a, a piece of rubble, like a fallen dumpster can. Uh, instantly, you're surrounded by uh, hands that are reaching out and touching you. And uh, for the first time, their hands aren't grasping and restraining you, uh, if only to maneuver you onto a. Uh, a gurney and you're lifted up and wheeled away and you can hear the the sounds of different uh, machines and uh, you can feel heat and uh, air blowing as uh, you can feel all these things around you and people are tending to your wounds and you you hear off in the distance yeah, this guy is like always walking around these streets. I've always been worried. Do you think you can take care of him? Don't worry, sir. Well, he's in good hands now. And you're whisked away to what seems to be a vehicle where you can still feel the movement underneath you as. And you're, you're sort of zoning in and out of consciousness for 
the next new next few blips of this memory but eventually you wake up and you can feel bandages on your body and you feel extremely stiff but refreshed and you actually feel you are resting on a comfortable bed in a warm interior still listening to the soft sounds of rain patter against a window I see you're awake he looks uh, towards where the voice came from what the hell you're one of those that I? tried to get across the border not this again <laughs> <laughs> no I refuse not this again uh, you, got, you, but you're blind. you hear the shifting of cloth as he stands up and the clacking of shoes that's stepping closer. My name is Dr. Leonard Page, and you seem to be in a very unique situation, young man. And what gives you that idea, huh? He, uh, taps your forehead. You've lost your sight, and uh, that's not an easy fix. You're telling me? Not easy, but also not impossible. Is that a lie to me? You hear the, the sounds of the footsteps move away and start pacing around the room. Well, I don't know what to call you, but what if I told you that I could fix your sight? I'd like to hear everything before I say anything. Very well. I will explain what I can, but just know that sometimes things aren't fixed so simply as just undoing something and or replacing something. Sometimes it's deeper than that. Sometimes the way to fix something and this is what most of us doctors do isn't actually you know curing you but putting you in the right situation to actually allow yourself to heal yourself you know there's only so much we can do even with magic but you know we can give you a cast and allow your bones to mend and we can surgically remove and replace damaged body parts. We can seal wounds and cure poisons, but really a lot of what that is based off of is your own body and specifically your mind and willingness to do so. So before I tell you anything, how about you tell me, do you want your sight back? More than anything else. More than anything is what you said? More than anything else. Then it looks like we've got a lot of work to do. No. What? No. <laughs> what do you Sorry, mean? Sorry, no. my my kill just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the campaign now. He, he, is that guy. he does that the peace sign and, and just just <laughs> no peace sign jumps out window. I don't think you get to decide I... his backs. No, I thought no. I thought my mic was off. I was talking to my cat. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> so, Echo, goddamn it! To say no. I know. Just no. 
You all can blame <laughs> Echo for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, I'm kicked out the campaign. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. We're back on the uh, tram. It is a tram. It is on. Anyways, it's uh, getting close to sunrise. Not quite there yet. But you can actually see out the windows, getting real close to the city. It's been a bit on an hour or so. Damien says, uh, I'm just going to do my final rounds, check up on everything in the back, and see how things are going. I assume you can carry on without me. We appreciate everything you do, sir. That's not necessary, but it is appreciated. This is not my voice when I first came in, but it's what I'm... <laughs> Flashbacks warped our reality and we different. <laughs> I'm going to go check the stuff in the back. And now I'm half British. <laughs> Damien leaves. <laughs> I miss him so much. Well, he's dead now. Fuck. What? I'm never we forgiving did this party for what you've done. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Give me them eyes. No. Olsen, no. Hey, he did. He don't need them. Olsen, no. Bad. Quickly, take just... his wallet. Eris just gets out a spray bottle and squirts him. <laughs> Bad. No. What? What's in the spray bottle? It's very important. Uh. This acid in a spray bottle. <laughs> yeah. It's just no. bleach. It's just bleach. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, no, Don't tell me you came born my eyes with that. Get no. It's it's just um it's like vinegar. I just spray him in the mouth. Bad. Most bees. Jeez. I just steal your wallet, my, me. I just steal your eyes. Mm. Um. How long do we have on this um trip? So is he really dead? You're you're getting close to the city, so not okay. long now. Minutes. Oh my god. Mm, dope. So it's like time to like clean up your stuff and like mm -hmm. I don't know if you have any things to gather or whatnot, but like throw your trash mm -hmm. away in the bin. I, that's the last thing that uh, Damien says is like, uh, please be sure to dispose of your trash. I would very appreciate it if I didn't have to come back in and scold all of you. Uh, leaves a wrapper on the counter. He glares I was totally at you. expecting someone to say like they throw me in the sack then. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not trash. <laughs> My eyesight is. It's not even anyway. your eyes. You, you, those aren't even your eyes. You stole those. They what? don't know that yet. Yes, they did. They watched you steal no, them they from a knoll. I took one of them. I took one of the eyes. Now you told them that both of them are stolen. Congrats. You sold me Well, out. we can kind of, you know, A goes to B, goes to C. Does he still I have just... those eyes if they were a simulation? Oh, yeah. There's science. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and magic. <clears throat> Scientifical magic. Wait, so if we took things from the simulation, they come to life? There, there the are certain aspects, but basically, once you once you leave the premises, you're unequipped and whatnot. <laughs> no, my baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, no, so yeah. So you don't have any weapons on you currently, except for mm -hmm. like your spell casting things and whatnot. My best 
He's gone now. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Give me my bat. No, I keep it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I, I don't know if anybody else has anything they want to do before we get off this um, train. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? I forgot what the other word was. Tram. 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 That's right. Same thing. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, a tram works on like a singular uh, uh, line. Yeah. Thing, gotcha. Basically. Gotcha. Um, I so won't it's remember like a, that, it, but thank you. <laughs> trams basically work on one designated path and don't really have different. Mm. Yeah. Anyways. So it's just like from here to here, only sort one of. way to go. You okay. know how like subways work? It's sort of like that. Like they okay. have multiple stops and whatnot, but like. That's crazy. I have a subway sandwich. Anyway. <laughs> what the hell? Um. Yeah, I don't know if anybody else. I'm I'm chill with wait until we get to the city. So. Okay. Anyone else have anything that they want to do? I'll put my cups away for the guy, but that's it. Okay. Grab some peanuts. I'll clean up Eris's mess. <laughs> so you guys have just been hanging out in the the food cart this entire time? Oh yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Man, I'm so glad that I actually made this cart because up until like yesterday it didn't exist. Where were we, we supposed to get here. snacks and harass the elf man? <laughs> huh? Well, he was supposed to be coming around with like a cart of goodies, but like. Oh. Yeah. yeah, no, it's fine. I just completely made his entire character pointless. Damien would have been dead at this point without the cart. I would have taken those off. No, he is it. dead. He is. What? Yeah. What? Yep. Actually. Oh, shit. Wow. Fuck. Wait. All right, give me the eyes. Do we know I this? Know. No. He doesn't need them. Wait, can I go look for D? Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I go happened? look for Damien. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Did he have a heart attack once he left the room, or what? Hello. What? Once he left the room, he ceased to exist. What? what? I'm sorry. You're still in simulation. <laughs> oh my god! You can't just do that to us. Oh shoot! I freaking forgot that I like ruined the, at... the the spoil that you were supposed to learn out in like twenty oh, we're sessions in a, from we're now. S yeah, in you're still, still in the simulation. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Damn it! It's literally the first session. Like, <laughs> no. I always find that kind of stuff lame, anyways. Um, we never let the simulation. This is all the spin simulation. <laughs> I eat the silica gel package. Like we'll that. see. I knew he was actually, too this to be entire a world is a simulation, and actually, none of you are real. Oh, okay. the fact that the fact that I believe that you are joking about this right now, but that's actually the truth. <laughs> you can believe whatever you want to believe. No. He doesn't make jokes. <laughs> that is not true. Okay, let me rephrase. He doesn't. Make I made Damien ones. after all. <laughs> hmm. You have a fail point. <laughs> oh, no, but, but like, okay, eyes? okay, but like, be straightforward because I'm confused. We're not in a simulation, right? This is no. real life. Okay, cool. So, where did Damien go? I mean, technically, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, so. Oh my god, that's not what I meant, and you know it. <laughs> is Damien dead? Job. No. I don't know. Like... You don't know. Damien left. He's in the back. Oh my god, I go to the back to go check on him. What the fuck? Okay. Why you check on him randomly? No, literally. And I just, like, start banging on the door. Wait, that's okay, the yeah, the, yeah the door's closed and you can't get in. You start I'm banging just... on the door. Yeah, I'm just banging on the door, like, Damien, where the fuck are you? There's no response. Oh my god. Rabble! <laughs> I have no reason to assume anything horrible has happened to him. He walked away. Yeah, but he's been gone for a while. We Usually he just goes in there. Hasn't it been like two minutes? 
Time is weird for me, okay? Okay, I guess we'll have to go check. No, it has been two minutes. You're right. Oh, it has been? Yeah, it's yeah. only been two minutes. But that's a long time for him to walk back there and walk back. He could walk be using again. the Because last time, last, there's no bathroom. bathroom. How would you Unless know? Unless that's just what it is. It's just he told us bathroom and they don't let us use it. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's so fucked Paying up. Paying customers they... only. <laughs> He's just we shitting in one of the crates back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fine, I'm gonna go sit and wait with everybody, but if he doesn't come back- are gonna get an extra like, stool sample at the research lab. <laughs> if he doesn't come back by the time he gets there, I'm gonna go back there and figure out what happened. This is ridiculous. Okay. You can't, you can't say things to us like this and expect us not to get paranoid. <laughs> How dare you? Actually, I mean, that's probably why you said there's it. There's no response when you bang on the door. I know. Uh, also, the the food cart is the only cart, uh, along with the the front and the back uh, cars, that don't have a, a side exit like a normal exit. Like all of them have like an escape hatch on the on the roof, mm -hmm. but. Uh, the food cart doesn't have like a. I don't like it when you say escape hatch. Because now I think something. I, that's well, just a normal thing in a yeah. bus. <laughs> like buses no, and trains, they all have them. It. When you mention something, normally something bad happens. Okay, chillax, man. I'm gonna <laughs> go time to I did that, I got hit by a dragon. I'm gonna go to the fourth cart since we're getting off soon and wait by the door. Uh, the fourth cart from the front or the back? The back, the one it's closest to the place we can't go, the no-no zone. The the <laughs> this no, one. No no the no no yes. zone. The no no zone. <laughs> you can't go there. That's the no no zone. It is Hello the no -no everyone, zone. welcome to the no no zone. <laughs> it is the no no zone. You're not today on no no zone. <laughs> a TLC doesn't make a fucking series called the no no zone. Okay, what's everyone else doing? There are plenty of- never mind. I'll go there <laughs> as well. Yeah, no, me too. Okay, you're all just rolling together? Yeah. Just, I mean, yeah. I walk into a wall. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a regular thing, by the way. Artan, what oh, are you doing? Oh, he needs help! Yeah, yeah, I wanna go out. there, but I wanna grab Alton with me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, Olsen. Forgot. Can't see. <laughs> yeah, I forget that a lot, too. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hey, is it okay if I use the bathroom real quick? Yeah. I mean, if anyone else wants to run to the bathroom, we can do a bathroom break real quick. Oh, yeah. Second line Yeah, I don't mind. Rabble, are you drunk? Uh, no, I only had a couple drinks. Oh, okay. You like Fight Club? Of course we'll Fight Club. Don't talk about it. <laughs> You're breaking the rule. Yeah, I get the 20 licks for that. Are you actually playing Xbox right now? Yes, I am. While we're this playing what I do it. Yes, I do this every time. Is that why you don't respond? No, that's because my phone's fucked up. And I lag very much. It also takes me half a year to load into D&D Beyond because fucking lag. Ugh. I hate my phone. Even though I paid a lot of money for it, it fucks up. My phone? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I can't relate. I got an Android. Quit trying this fucking thing. I swear to God, it literally does nothing but fuck up all the time. Man. Where are we being moved? Wham, wham. I thought Sounds you went like to the bathroom. He's That's back. Just to say wham, wham, wham. Me? Maybe. I don't know. You? Wow. Mm. I'm. I don't think we've left. I think you're the only one who left, so. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm here. <clears throat> oh. Looking out the windows, you notice that you're getting really close to the station, but the tram is not slowing down. Oh. Like squeeze? What's everyone's passive perception? Uh, uh 15. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. 14. Okay. 15. I can't see. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's true. I fucking, yeah, I thought yeah. he meant he can't see his thing, and I'm like, oh no, Olsen literally can't see, so. Shit. <laughs> oh. The tram continues at speed. Actually, it feels like it's maybe getting a little faster. And at first, you don't really think too much of it until you get close to your drop-off point, the station. And then you speed past. Continue going. And check the Shit. driver. Yeah, I'm going to run up to the, uh, the engine. Or, yeah. Front of the uh, train. The tram. Okay. I will as well. Yeah. Well... Okay, yeah. Come on, Scooby Gang. Since we can't get it in the back of the train, might as well go to the front and see what happens. Uh, oh. Everyone's going to the front car, correct? Yep. Yeah. Okay. The door is locked. That too. Okay. Force it open. Uh, make a strength check. Can I do athletics? I guess uh, it's the same number. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Oh, that's a 10. <laughs> cool. no, oh you, my you can't God. even get your fingers into place. <clears throat> Damn, these meaty fingers. <laughs> Can I... Um, like, can, uh, tricks, like, poof in and out, like, between, or can he pass through walls or anything? Like, uh, probably not. Asking to? Well, I'm asking if he can. Like, is he able to, like, poof out of here and then reappear, like, in the, um, I, I'm just gonna call it the cockpit. I am not <clears throat> intangible. However, I am able to appear and reappear in places. It is not the easiest thing to do, but if you want to use me as a simple periscope and move through walls, I suppose I could pop in and pop right back. So yes, the answer is yes. Thank you, Trix. Wait, what? <laughs> Who is that? Yes. Yes, I Oh. Can. You Very guys can't cool. understand him. He's oh. just squawking. <laughs> and I can I can understand him. So I'm just talking to a squawking bro. <laughs> Raven. Raven, sorry. That explains a lot. I swear to God, people call me crazy, but I have to be on the same team as who? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you guys are asking Eris who is she talking to and she's like oh I'm just talking to my raven and then it explodes and a cloud of feathers on her shoulder like the Shrek scene the bird oh yeah, oh, yeah the thing in the boat okay and then Aris, I'm going don't freak out <laughs> your bird exploded Bye. oh sweetie are you, are you okay this... I what I can't be friends yeah, and... like no no it's fine he does it happens he's fine he, it happens I, it happens He's not mm -hmm. a real raven, okay? It's I'm not explaining it right now. This is still on no. top of a balloon. I shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to focus. Okay. Uh one of you like kind of I need to lean on raven appears again. Um on the other side? No, it, it like appears back in your room. Back in my what? In the it, room with me? Yes, it's back in this room now. Okay. 
Yeah, it's like flapping I was gonna, in the air. I says, was gonna look through his eyes though, but that's fine. It if, seems you, as though Cambria. Oh, sorry. What were you gonna say? Did Did you get to the other side of the door? Yes, I did, and it seems as though your friend that seems to be in control of this rocketing machine is no longer in control and is instead taking a very deep nap at the controls. That's lovely. Um, yeah. So, the thing is, is also I needed you to open the door. <laughs> um, ah, yes. Let me just grow opposable digits real quick. Your beak. You have a beak. You know that, right? I do, but I also don't know how to hotwire things or solder things or pry things open with my big, strong muscles. So I Did do apologize, but I seem to be lacking in the expertise in this area. Okay, look, I don't need your sass right now. If you would like a list of all the spells that you have access to, I can absolutely give you a description of everything that you would like. Aris, but Aris, Aris. I, I would like... You don't need to be rude to the parrot. It's not a parrot. It's okay. Do anything wrong. It's a raven. <laughs> I, I am I'm so just sorry, my friend. I didn't parrot. mean to say the wrong species. I'm not used to seeing birds. They're usually things that people with a lot of money have. Anyways, the tram okay. starts to speed don't. up a little bit more. Oh my fucking god! Okay. okay, um, someone who's strong should bang on the door, and I think some of us should try no, to find she, our friend. No, she. Okay. Oh, ah. sorry, 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 sorry. Um, so no, I sent Trix into the other room. Um, he didn't like wait for me to make sure, like, try to open the door. Anyway, um, she's how passed out. She's. I like want asleep. to investigate how to get out of the train. Um. Maybe another route to get into the control. There, there are doors. We can't get out of the train because there's two people passed out, and if we leave the train, they'll probably die. Okay. In the roof, we can go through the roof and get to the controls. But we I have to. I told you oh, no he brings it up. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> anytime he brings anything up, we have to use it. Tricks. Was there a hatch on the ceiling of the cockpit? You mentioned that, right? You know what? I forgot to look. Let me just pop right back in there. You do okay, realize if you're gonna that... pop back right in, can you open the door? <laughs> I just see a fucking balloon pop again. As soon as you tell me how to open the door, I can absolutely do it for you. Well, just hang on a second and I can look through your eyes and then I can tell you how to open the door. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Do you want Please me to go now you. or do you want me to wait until it's most convenient for you? I would like you to go now, if you could, please be willing to do that for me. <laughs> Her eye just twitches in annoyance. Talking a whole lot. Okay, I need one of you to just like catch me, uh, cause I'm gonna uh, do a thing. Don't freak out, it's normal. You don't I'm lose fine. control of your muscles, you just go blind. I, I literally like, no, I'm saying like if I teeter or something, like you have to catch me. This, oh, that's gotcha. fine. Sure, also yeah. catch you. No, <laughs> no don't let him. Oh, no. Out of wall. Don't, don't, worry, touch me. don't touch me. Okay. All right. Uh, I can't so, help you from falling. Rude. We can't touch you. I just kind of like zone out and then. Um, oh, she's gone. Uh, yeah, my eyes just turn like blank white. I can tell when I'm not wanted and he walks into the wall. <laughs> Yeah, she can't see or hear anything that's going on either. <clears throat> I like to her actual body. But... Wait, do I? You don't have a rave. It's a bat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you know what? Freaking fine. I'll get. I'll get the raven. Give me two seconds. No, One, no. Two. Uh, okay. Bye. Time's up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is there not a raven? <laughs> Cause that's my second. There you go. Oh, there it is. There he is. Mm. And now, I can turn it into a token. There we Yay. go. Yay! Amazing. Pretty bird. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look around Burb. and try and find the how to unlock the door. Like, look at the door. Catching oh. Yeah, you look at the door. Mm -hmm. See if there's a way for me to get to. There have is him not open a control it. panel near the door. 
<clears throat> Do I have to have like a key card then? There does not need seem to be like a swipe card or something. Lame. Is there a hatch in the ceiling? There if is. The person's asleep. Dope. Want awesome. To. There, there is an escape hatch in every single car. Yes. Okay. Um. He can't manipulate any. Is he able to kind of like? He can do. He can interact with objects, but he is severely limited. So just, you know. Okay. Be mindful. Um. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh. Because I was gonna say if he could like kind of yank her like clothes to like pull her shoulder and kind of pull her off the controls um but no okay that's he, fine he's he's incapable of moving a body yeah well that's what i was saying um she like, she does not appear to be laying on the controls she actually seems to be passed out and leaning backwards in her chair and almost collapsed onto the floor okay so would he be able to um, like pull the brakes or okay. I don't know where are they I don't know where are they yeah Play you everyone. don't know <laughs> ah, yeah. fine okay I just I come back out of it um, <laughs> is there a hatch there's a hatch um, so I guess we have to go through the hatch in one of these cars and get up there and Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, there's a, just a large commotion at the rear end of the train. I'm sorry? We you hear like something that. fall, like. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like the sound of that. Okay. <laughs> Can I thought someone it had do some me a and take a look? Thank you. Nope. Oh. Oh, me. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go and check. Hey, Eris, let's go and check. So fine, fine, fine. How about Rebel? Rebel, you can come too. From the other side of the door, you just hear tricks like, Oh, that's alright, I'll stay here. Well, I don't want you to get any more injured, so you just stay put. Or you can... Oof, he ba he you bamps his back to you. You never listen. I have been bird. trusted to stay by your side. Cheeky bird. Okay, let's all go. Okay, you all go. I feel like yeah. someone yeah, we should try to get to like... the front. I'm a, I'm a set of I'm a set of pry the door open. Which door? So, which door? <laughs> also, you can't see the wrong door. That one. <laughs> which well, door? Someone wants to try to get into the cockpit, but the problem is, is we can't get if in you there. Get into the cockpit, uh, if you, unless you can wake her. If you feel like you can wake her up, then you can get in there and wake her up. But other than that, there's a much bigger yeah. deal in there. Who, who's doing what? Someone wanted to go to the back, but also people are doing stuff at the front. Who's doing what? I'm at the front. Okay. Arthur's oh, okay. going to the back. I will go to the back. I want uh, to try and open the hatch in the front of the. Yeah, Eris will. Uh, actually, yeah, no. Eris will stay and up at the front. And. Oops. Ah uh, yes, yeah, splitting the party. Very good. <laughs> no, continue. Hey, you know what? what? We do. You know what? Yeah. All right, right, gang. Let's split up. You gave us the puzzle. Okay, we're trying to solve it. No, go for it. Don't Why be mean. You have a blind guy and you what, what's what's new, Scooby Doo? <laughs> I think I'm the worst person I have in this. I can't see any clues. I mean, I can use you as a stool to get into the... Oh, room. wow. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I helped. <laughs> Thumbs up. You, you can help. easily reach the, the, the hatches. Yeah, but you, using the... doesn't know about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I try to reach the hatch. Okay, you do so. And is is it open? It is locked. Oh, fuck! But you can you can you open it from the inside? It it it's it it's it's only supposed to be opened <laughs> during emergencies. So unless there is an emergency detected, it will remain sealed for everyone's safety. 
as do all of the other doors. Because okay. the the thing is in motion uh -huh. and running smoothly, it will not just Wait. Open. What if we crash? We're going to get locked in here. Well, if you crash, then you'll be able to open the doors. Okay. okay. But what's considered an emergency? File. You don't know. Can someone can someone set the training fire? Maybe they can. <laughs> well, I, I mean, one box. <laughs> Man, you guys would be great in escape room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ooh, I'm the gonna. Door's locked. Let's light it on fire until they let us out. I mean, it's just a little bit. <laughs> we'll escape in no time. Okay, okay. Um... Fire now or later, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. <clears throat> Anybody have any ideas? Like, what are you guys doing at the back? I don't know. Trying to find the only guy who's been able to open doors. Yeah. Why? How is it that he opened you doors? You guys can't There's... talk. You're not in the same group. Is the door oh, yeah. at the back? Uh, okay. While you guys are figuring out what to do up front, let's cut to mm -hmm. Arthel and Rabble. Custom totem squad this direction. Uh, you want to try busting that door down? Can I try pulling that door open? Okay, go for it. It's worse than that. Oh man, that's an 11. One better than last time. No, doesn't oh, budge. Well. I'm going to put a hand on your shoulder and tell you, you got this, just focus. You can break this, it's easy. And give you bardic inspiration. Ooh. Good. I roll that to add it to that? Yeah. Is it a d6? It's say d6. Yeah. Although I think technically you would have to try again. To yeah. Use it. No, you can continue trying. But yeah. That's a not natural twenty. Okay. Yeah. You fit your hands uh, in the door, and it starts to bend and buckle, uh, and you're kind of pushing on the door more than you are like actually opening it um, and you are starting to bend the metal a little bit um, and you could probably figure out a way to pry it as soon as you do start to open up this gap like forcing your fingers in you instantly hear inside of the room like something slide and then stop and then I think you hear like very quietly <laughs> Damien no response I think I know what's happening now. Try to get in there. I mean, this is like a full-on metal door, so this is going to be multiple checks. You can't just, like, pry open a door. These would be very bad doors if you could just pry them open with your bare hands, but you, you, uh, you've you you got a wedge cool? in there. Uh, that it, do you have any wedge? Or another no? dirty 20. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, uh, like, yeah. kick at the, the base of one, start to bend it over, and I don't know if you've seen like that scene with never mind. Uh, it, basically, you like bend one door away from the other and just kind of like pry them open by pushing one in and pulling the other out, and you've made a decent enough space that you could like kind of squirm your way into. Okay. Well, I'm going. Play. You want to go first? Uh, sure. Is it dark in there? Um, it is not. Uh, no, it, it's not. It, it's got light in there. Okay. And you guys oh. would have been here. I'll take a step in and try to survey what's... If I see anything. Okay. Make a perception check. Yo! That is a... 16. Okay. Uh, you see that there are a bunch of chests open, oh. um, and most of them are empty. Um, and then you can see that there is one chest all the way at the back that does still have something in it. And it looks like it is a smaller chest with like a biohazard kind of like yellow stripe warning thing of like maybe fragile or something, you know, dangerous <clears throat> of what kind. Fragile. 
Hey. I know you're in here. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> is it magical? It is. Sleepy night night. Thank God I get advantage. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, thank God. I love magic. <laughs> I got 20. I got a 21. Okay. Someone <laughs> attempts to cast blindness, deafness on you, but you resist. <gasps> Uh, and instantly, as this person jumps out, they realize that their spell didn't take effect, and they're like, oh, shit. Is it, this is a different person? Yes. Like someone I haven't... Okay. What you see <laughs> is a figure wearing completely black clothes, and it's almost kind of like a trench coat. Um, has anyone ever played uh, or seen Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know those black cloaks? Mm -hmm. Imagine yep. that, but they also have like additional straps of clothing, like scarves and like Damn. other things too. And you notice that those bits of cloth are floating in the air as if unaffected by gravity. And you realize that all of their clothes are actually unaffected by gravity. But you notice this as they just sort of move and then stop as they realize that they've completely messed up if you've seen them. Uh, and then they just grab the thing in the chest and jump straight up in the air through the open hatch in the roof. Uh, and then you start to hear running overhead, making their way to the front of the train. Can I go after them? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... You, you, you hadn't entered the room, so do you just want to start running towards the front of the train? Um, well, I was thinking up through the hatch. Do I get it? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna take a couple of seconds to get through the door because you need a wiggle through. But yeah, would you I can have do had that. A, sorry. Since they're running, would I have a chance to do anything, or did they get away clean? Uh, they they got away clean. They jump okay, cool. they jump straight up follow, through yeah. the. They jump straight from the ground up through the hole. They didn't climb. Oh my god, they're I'm going ninjas. To just run as fast as I can and kind of. Is it right above that chest? No, it's towards the center of the room. And I can get up there? Uh, yeah, you can climb up there. Or yeah, do you want to jump like, up there? I'll attempt to jump up there. Okay, make an athletics or acrobatics check. Um, that is a 23. Okay, Ooh. yeah, you also jump straight up through the, the hatch. Do I have eyes on them? You do. They're How running towards away? the front of the train. They're, oh. they're about here. Is that 30 feet? Uh, it is just outside 30 feet, I believe. Damn, then I'm gonna keep chasing them. Okay. You have 35 feet, don't you? Um, and you notice that no, at I'm the not... front of the train, oh. there is a vehicle flying oh, at the front with a hatch slowly opening, awaiting them. And they're waiting, they're just shouting, Run, get out of here! We've been compromised. Rabble, what are you doing? I'm uh, gonna jump up there as well. Okay. Uh, are you jumping or climbing? How high is it? Uh, it is a solid, uh, almost twenty feet, like fifteen I'm feet. Dive, okay, cause... okay. Yeah, you you climb up and it takes you a second, but yeah. Okay. Um, what are you guys doing at the front of the train? Ooh. I think I'm gonna Eris... start breaking for the. All, all you hear uh, is a commotion at the back of the train. People kind of like yelling to each other. I'm gonna start a break into the front. How? Like into the. Well, there's nothing I can really do besides force the door. <laughs> okay, roll a strength check. Yes. I am 100% about to fail. Yeah. 
you roll a nat 20 on this. <laughs> Let's That's go! Unlikely. That is unlikely. What did you roll? I haven't rolled yet because it's annoying and it won't let me. Let's roll real dice. Okay, this this is the last thing that I'm actually going to let you guys do before we roll for initiative. Okay. Yeah, um... The one that said for me to roll real dice, you're going to buy me real dice, huh? The last one I had broke. No, no one said anything about real dice. I did. So, aha, you're wrong. I couldn't hear you, sir. Come on, why do I always get low rolls? Mamma mia! Mamma mia, I gotta die. You're just slamming your fists against the door, but it doesn't seem to budge. I would now like everyone to roll for initiative, please. What? I didn't... Oh. Okay. Fine. Initiative is not combat. Initiative I'm... is turns because. Yeah. yeah. Why do I have the worst luck possible? Damn it! I almost got a nat twenty. <laughs> uh, damn it. I will ask for your rolls in just a moment. Okay. At this point, I'm convinced that my dice is, they hate me. Harris, what'd you get? Uh, 16. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, what'd you get, Orithor? I got a 13. Okay. A 14? 13. 13? Yep. Okay, what'd you get, Olsen? 11. Nice. I'd just like to say, I got a 3, and the only reason I'm in the double digits is because I have plus 8. Plus 8 to initiative? That's insane! My feet <laughs> does not lie! <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, what'd you get? Got 17. Nice. <laughs> only if I was good at rolling dice. Rabble? 16. If only you could see you to roll your dice. You got a fail no. point. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, I don't even know what I got. What are you talking about? Did someone tell me? You got a nat got 20. A nat 20. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. yes. <laughs> Good job. I'm going to have to re-roll that uh, sank sec. I didn't, I didn't see what I threw. Someone else, tell me what I got. One. <laughs> wow, well shit. <laughs> <laughs> well shit. <laughs> it's the no over again. No, because those gnolls, gnolls, two of them missed you. At the same time. Uh, so here's a fun no, I'm thing. I'm saying I turned into a no. What's the fun thing? Eris and Rabble, you both rolled the 16. Now, normally, ties are decided by whoever has the highest dexterity, but I like to do something fun where I let you guys have the turn at the exact same time. So one of you could move, one of you could do an action, then the first person can do an action, and then the other person can move. You know, you can have the turn at the exact same time. So, because just because there's so much weird things where, you know, people are usually like waiting for someone else to do something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, this figure... Oh, actually, I have music for this. Is it Kingdom Hearts music? It is not. Damn it! Oh. As you are moving through the city, I like this there is uh, Sun Rush, as you realize that like you are not world out world. in the open country anymore, and there are multiple things moving around you. You can actually see people stop and pointing, and uh, there are signs and low-hanging uh, you know, pathways and whatnot. So this is a treacherous terrain that you are going to be moving through, especially on top of the train. Oh, yeah. And you can actually see far off. There is the end of the train way. 
so there is not much time to act. But you must. Uh, starting with a mysterious figure, they are going to dash a full 70 feet. Jesus Christ. They have a speed of 35. Arthel, what are you doing? Um. Damn, I'll damn. try to dash after them. Okay, what's your movement speed? 35. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then you're going to dash to another 35? Um. What do I got? I don't think I have anything other than dashing right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna dash after them. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check to leap. Yo! Should be a breeze for you, but still. Yeah, she's um, part goat. 18. Yeah, you're good. That's just to make the slight little jump. This music is bopping, I love it. <laughs> it slap. So it does mean it did sound like something you hate you were here from payday. I'm gonna be screaming the whole time in hopes that someone under there can hear. Just yelling that he's trying to get away at the front. I don't know. They probably can't, but I don't know what else to do. Stop him, please! My purse. All right, Eris. You you hear people yelling and screaming and uh, people running along the top. What are you doing? Uh, just kind of quick panic and uh, is it an is it... action to climb the Olsen? Mute your mic. Cause... Oh, sorry. It, okay. it, is, it is part of your movement to climb. Okay, but if I jump up there, is it just part of? Is that also part of my movement? That's yes, that's still movement. Okay, I'm just asking. I mean, do me. you want jumping to be your action? Um, no, no, I'm just asking questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'll just I'll just jump up there. Because um, since I hear somebody running, tw it's running towards us, right? Oh, I forgot to have Rana roll for initiative. Who? Hi. Rena? Who's that? Oh, um. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! I'm coming in. <laughs> Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? A fucking rat. <laughs> of course, it's tiny. <laughs> of course. Yeah, she's a mouse person. You're just a little mousy. How um, big are those eyes? <laughs> no! Bigger than yours. <laughs> yeah, you can't fit them in your yeah. eyes. Sometimes. Marina, what'd you get? Uh, doing one. I'll back off for now. Yo, what? Okay, I got a 22. Ooh, okay. So you actually would have gone first out of everyone. Um, your partner that you were assisting in helping rob this train has jumped out the roof, and other people have also followed them. What did you want to do? Fucking follow. Let's go. And I hear the techno music. Okay, so you, you're gonna follow even though other people are gonna be up there as well? Uh, when I see them, I will have to spell on them. Okay. Um, what's your movement speed? I'm looking. 25. <laughs> okay. So you would be literally on the heels of Rabble, but then you can dash. What? You're just so tiny, Rabble doesn't even see you. <laughs> Does Rabble notice me with the path? Uh, I mean, they ran past you when they went up through the hatch. Okay, you're uh, you're pretty much directly behind them. You're catching up to them on your movement this turn. Okay. Uh, well, if I see Rabble, I'm just gonna fuck him. Throw some scary dust in his face and cast sleep. You're gonna cast sleep on him? For yeah. her? Wow. Her, them. Okay, right. Damien. Roll, roll, <laughs> roll. 
Oh yeah, you d you also did see Damien's uh, collapsed body off in the corner. Just <laughs> yeah, there. he's fine. He deserves yeah. a nap. <laughs> An eternal nap. <gasps> Stop it! He's not dead. He's gonna yes, be he is, if you though. leave his body can I there. Get those eyes? What? You can, sure. I don't like cut him down. Twenty-seven. Ravel, how much HP do you have? Put me to sleep. I got twenty-nine. Oh, oh what's up? Damn. I kind of shit myself a little bit. Like a little. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go down from that. <laughs> little mouse turds. <laughs> like, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> well, that's all I got. Okay. Do you want to dash? Kick the mouse off the same. Kick the mouse uh, off the same. <laughs> sure. I can oh wait, no, you can't, because you used your action to cast sleep. Yeah. Okay, you are like right next to Ravel, and that's the end of your turn. <laughs> oh my god. Not upon me. Do it, kick him off! <laughs> oh. Alright, Eris, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, hey. no, I'm You just wanted kidding. to know uh, if you could jump. No, yeah, I know. So I'm going to jump up there because I hear him running towards me or towards us so. okay so you're gonna jump 15 feet straight up yeah it's faster okay make an acrobatics check you're an acrobatics check I'm sorry I'm sassy today you have enhanced reflexes because of your race and that's the only reason why I'm allowing this okay you said acrobatics okay Sorry, hang on. Is your athletics better? No. Okay. I was just I was trying to get to it. I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah, please roll an insight check. <laughs> Twenty-two. Okay, yeah, you you get up and you clasp onto the uh, escape hatch. What do you do now? The hatch Wait. is still closed. What? Oh. How does the back one open? Oh, I guess they broke in that way. Smarter. Ah! <laughs> Trix flies up next to you and is like, So what's the plan? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um... Why God. do I suggest blasting it. it? Yeah, I guess I just drop back down and... <sighs> um... Yeah, let me... Sorry. I guess I could tr just try and throw a, f a fire card at it. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. That's all you got. Pretty much. Uh, 16? I mean, yeah, that hits. Okay. So we are setting the train on fire. No, I'm setting the train on fire. And then it's, uh... Shit, I forgot what dice I'm supposed to roll. I think it's like a d6 for damage. It's a d4 plus my... D4 plus fire. what? Plus my casting uh, yeah. ability. Oh my god, my phone's being stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh. It's not rolling. What the fuck is this? Why isn't it... Hey, you got a three. It's, okay. It's not showing up on my thing. It so might be because I'm looking at your character sheet. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop it. I just figured I'd let Trix help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you said I got a three? Yeah. And so plus three is six. Okay. Yeah, that leaves a, a scorch on the underside. But it doesn't 
make it open or anything. Like, okay. Um, the, uh, the hatch does seem like it's getting kind of weird. So it's like, is there an emergency going on right now? Mm-hmm. So maybe if you do that again, it might accept that there's an emergency. Okay. So then I guess that's all I can do for now. Yep. Yep. Okay. What you doing, Rabble? How big is this rat? Ow! There's a tiny... <laughs> <laughs> There's a tiny little mouse that came up the ladder behind you and then farted. Uh, <laughs> kick it off. So, as a seven-five humanoid, I can like, comfortably carry five hundred and forty pounds. <laughs> Could I, if I grapple him, would I be able to run with him? Yes, in my hand. Like a football. Yeah. I'm gonna try to grapple him then. <laughs> Alright, make a strength check. Uh, oh my god. Oh, that's a Ryan, throw. make a strength or, or dexterity saving throw. 22. No way. Wow. Yeah. What you got? 24. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna pick him up and start chasing after the other guy. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. With one mighty <laughs> hand, you just right now. you grab him and his <laughs> eyes bulge out like a squeaky <laughs> toy. <laughs> like a damn squeaky toy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, you still have complete your full movement. Okay, I'm gonna run as far as I can toward Let the other guy. Let me go. I will yeah, when I get did. closer to the guy. Thank you for that, Sky. That's great. <laughs> look at the look at the general chat. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Stop. It's so funny. Okay, what's no. your movement speed? Uh, 30. 30. Okay, so you're right there. Alright, Urathor, what are you doing? Um, I guess I have a question. If I go cast uh, Thaumaturgy, can I, like, the train oh yeah you could okay so I do that to try to um, shake the section of the train where the guy is running through you want to shake like the an emergency exit um, I don't think that's going to work I, I was just trying to make the guy that's running in the in the ceiling, like, try to make him fall. I mean, you're not going to shake the entire train. You can... Okay. Hmm. I mean, one of what Thaumaturgy does is it opens or closes an unlocked door. Oh! Unlock the hatch! <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I want to unlock the hatch, yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm uh, going to say that in a combination of both shaking and the natural opening this, uh, it the the hatch does detect the uh, emergency, and it pops open. Nice. Okay. And then I want to go through the hatch. Okay. Uh, what's your what's your movement speed? Uh, st- What's your movement speed? 30 feet. Okay. That's just enough to get you uh, up here. Nice. And so that's your turn. Uh, Can I hide behind the the hatch door? Um, Yeah, the the hatch just kind of uh, opens. Okay, nice. 
Olsen, what you doing? I'm gonna say I busted open again. Go for it. Love of God, dice, please. Give me something good for once. I love this side meme thing that we're doing <laughs> with the stupid rats. <laughs> it happens in every single session. I love it. What'd you this get, Olsen? I'd like to use the uh, die that I got for being Oli. Okay, yeah. You have a uh, point of DM inspiration, which allows you to reroll a dice. Thank God I'm allowed to reroll the dice. Please, give me something good. What's that? Nat 20, 21. Oh! No. I knew you were gonna roll a Nat 20 eventually. Let's open that door. <laughs> well, at least get it open slightly. <laughs> Thank um. God I used that die. <laughs> no! I love Jedi Legends. I was you, not expecting that to walk. The you real press your real hands rat. against the door, and you feel this well of energy wrap from your fingertips around the door, and you can actually see them in your mind's eye, and you force them open with this dark magic, and they slam to either side in the holsters, and you are free to enter the room. That is your action. Uh, I still got movement, right? And a bonus action. Alright, I'd like to head up all the way to, like, Rude. I just want one forward. You want to head where? Just forward, because I have no idea where I am. Alright. Uh, at 30 feet, you bump into the the, the seat of the, the cockpit. What the hell? And you can tell that well, there's a passed out body in the, in the seat. Can I attempt to wake them up? Uh, you shake them and there is no response. Shit. Oh, that ends my turn. Rena, what are you doing? Is it Rena or Rena? Brian. Oh, Rena. Rena, okay. Rena. Rena, you are currently grappled Rina. by a strong independent woman. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Let go! Yeah. <laughs> Roll I will. persuasion. And I do that by casting Charm Person. Ooh! So that's a wisdom saving throw again. They have advantage because you're currently <laughs> in combat with them. That's true. Ravel, make advantage, a wisdom saving throw wisdom. with advantage. Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. And that's just barely better as a nine. Oh. Ooh. That's a that's a no no. <laughs> You're very enamored with this cute little mouse. <laughs> okay, you you are charmed, and they have asked you to let them go. All Actually, right. as I charm them, throw me at the ship. Throw me like you would a football. At I was area. already gonna do that, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Great minds think alike, eh, friend? Whoosh! <laughs> Human catapult, but you still wasted a spell slot. <laughs> I, I will allow you to use your reaction to throw the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, so just throwing the rat off the fucking thing. What I do? Uh, what it's I a do strength check. Is throwing things is a strength check. Oh, okay. Where, where are you attempting to throw, Rena? Fifteen, uh, as close down the center of the train as possible. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to say because now he's now she's my buddy, and I want to get it to the ship. Well, you don't necessarily know that. You just know that they want to be thrown. Has anyone seen that video? Where oh, I mean, if I'm charmed, then that means they think that they're my friend. Face. You're my buddy now. We're having soft yeah. tacos later. Um, yeah, Rena, I would now. like you to make a dexterity saving throw. We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> That's exactly what popped in my head 22. when they said I pick up the rat. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say this, Arthur. You can use your reaction to make an attack of opportunity on Rena if you have a melee Wait. weapon. If you want to use it, your can... guitar. Wait, I'm gonna use I my actually have head. a right here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's a baseball. Ah, a rat <laughs> smack. <laughs> that is baseball. a 19. Oh God. Shish kebabed. <laughs> hold, hold on. Send that rat overboard. <laughs> I'm gonna use my reaction to cast Nimble Dodge, and I can pose disadvantage on an attack. You of can't cast your spells in a turn. No, 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 that's the reaction. Oh, that's a reaction. And it's an ability. Damn. Yo, that's okay. lame. Someone so what does that, that do? Rat. Impose it gives disadvantage. You disadvantage. Okay. Okay. So I see you gearing up, and oh, I start twisting go. my body. Where's my dice? I'll have to roll a 19 again. <laughs> he gets a nat 20. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, let there be more. <laughs> Get out. I will die one day, by the way. I don't have much to Kill Well, the if she rolls rat. a nat 20, she'll still have to go rat. with the 19. Yeah, I would still get the 19 if I rolled a nat 20. Yeah, but that's still good enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? 17 or uh, 18. 18. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stabbed me. You got me. <laughs> I didn't want to do this, but you came flying at me during a high stress situation. It's a game. <laughs> it's just a ball. Oh, that's 10. Oh. No. <laughs> Shit. We're having rat tonight. Okay. Here, here's funny. what I'm going to say what happened. Arthel does not shish kebab Rena, but what does happen is you pull out your rapier and just sort of clothesline him. <laughs> just smack him. But with the amazing saving throw, you don't fall off the train and stand land just oh, okay. there. Alright, so now uh, I'm going to use my movement to run. Okay. Uh, how much movement do you have? Um... Actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to do, uh, as I'm 25 movement, but as I'm moving, I'm going to use a bonus action to do a blade song. But it's not really a blade song. I'm just turning on my, like, tech boots and just run an extra 10 foot for the next okay. minute. Okay. So what's your base movement speed? 25. My base. Okay. And with this, it's 35. So you got another 10 feet? Yeah. Okay. Is Charm Person Concentration? Ooh. Ooh. I believe oh. it is. Oh, yeah. Does, Does it dispel song? when you get far enough away from He needs from to make them? a concentration check. Oh, true. I got smacked. Uh, I got a 17. Okay, that's still good. Holding Concentration. Um, at the beginning of the round, you notice that there is, uh, a low-hanging sign, so I'd like everyone to make a dexterity saving throw that's on the roof. Oof. I'm also gonna roll for Mysterious Piggy. Oh, That was a good roll. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? Uh, oh. Ravel, what did you get? 17. Okay. You're good. Uh, Arthur, what did you get? 
Knight. Okay. Uh, you take 16 points of damage and get. Oh, I uh, take. Ooh, sheesh. What? I'm down. Make a dexterity. See oh, you're down. Yeah. Okay. Gee. One six. We're over We're level two. two. Holy shit. Even I got a six, three. Right. Sixteen. Yep, I'm down. Okay, uh, Reyna, what did you get? Actually, can't save. Dexterity save. save, what did you get? I rolled a nat one. <laughs> you also take 16 <laughs> points of damage. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh god. Another one? I rolled another nat one, and I'm dead oh. by the way. <laughs> okay, we Wait. now have multiple people sliding off the side of the train. Oh my god. Good news, this person also got hit. <laughs> Everyone just got here. Crap. Just fucking ice the line. Rabble, you, you just watch as four people. <laughs> donk, donk, donk. <laughs> and then you just like. You probably like duck down here as it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear lord. <laughs> the figure was like, Raina, what? <laughs> or, I don't think they say your name, they're like, what took you so long? And then as they look back up, they just <laughs> close line. <laughs> okay, half the movement to stand back up. <laughs> no, <laughs> Let's see if they can make the jump. Nope. Okay. <laughs> they actually fall down. Okay, <laughs> Arthur, please make me a death saving throw. That's a 15. That's a success. Arthur does not start sliding off the, the train. Eris, what are you up to? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so it's open now, right? Yep. So, I, I, I'm gonna go up. Are you climbing or jumping? I'll jump. Acrobatics check. Or wait, wait is it more is it or more less or movement less to, climb? to climb? It would be faster to jump, but you have to make the check. So, but it's the same movement. It, it'll take less movement, but you have to make the check to do it. Okay. Uh, what was it? Ath uh, acrobatics? Yes. Or what? <laughs> oh, damn it. 18. All it was right. almost yeah, an you make 20, it. though. I was about to feel like I just jump <laughs> into the sky. Um, Okay. You're up here so with that Arthur. was 15 of my movement. Uh, I'm going to say that only took 10. Dope. Um, so you still have 20 feet of movement. So how far away is the guy from me? Uh, I mean, immediately what you see is that there is the, the flying vehicle near the front mm -hmm. of the train. Um, yeah. The party is back here. Um, you you currently... I don't think you see anything other than Arthel sliding off the train, and that's about it. I don't see the guy standing up running towards me no, on the top they, of the train. He fell. Not at this current moment. At this split second, no. The mysterious figure? No. Okay. You don't even see anyone else. Okay. Well, you might see a small mouse starting to slide off the side. Um, well, it's going to take me forever to get to Arthel. Uh, so, the vehicle in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, shit, hang on. So I guess I'm going to 
Uh, can I do a, do a insight check? Perception. What are you on doing? The, on the vehicle. To see if I... I don't know. Something. You tell me what you want to do, and I'll tell you what roll you need to make. Okay. Uh, you want to try and figure out if the, the vehicle is there to assist you escaping, or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, go ahead and make an insight check. Or perception, if you want. Uh, I'll let you roll perception. whatever you want to roll. Okay. Now that is a dirty 20. Okay, you recognize that this type of vehicle is unlike anything that uh, belongs to uh, anything of uh, the Lundman Society, uh, nothing that belongs to the Institute or uh, the Bergenworth facility. Uh, this is not, uh, if, if anything, it looks like a maybe personalized fighter. Um, mm -hmm. It, it looks like it has uh, a storage compartment underneath. Um, in fact, does anyone actually recognize uh, this vehicle right now? Uh, Silicon? Starcraft. Just kidding. I don't know. To me, it looks like something from Halo. It is. It's the Pelican. I knew it! I knew it! I'm... Too bad I'm blind. Olsen, Olsen, make, Olsen, take an adversity token. We're getting the reference. What's Basically, that? it looks like a, a heavily modified combat vehicle. It does not mm. seem like it would fit in here. Okay. How far away is the hatch from me? Uh, the hatch is about 100 feet. Okay, so I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move um, closer, closer to it. Okay. Also, you get the oh. idea that there might be like five more rounds before you guys crash. Okay. Okay. So 20 feet towards it, that's your turn. Oh wait, no, you still have your feet. action. No, 30 feet, because I have 40 feet yeah. of movement, and that was only 10 to get up there. Okay. So. Uh, that's just, gonna... just... Are you dashing? <laughs> um, um... Yeah, sure, I'll dash. Okay, go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Okay. Is it 16? Yep, that's just good enough. Dope. Um, and you are here, and that is the end of your turn. Okay. Gravel, you're up. Uh, can I reach Arthel? Oh, you got real loud. Uh, yeah, probably. What's your movement speed? 30. Okay, you just can't get it. Okay. I'm gonna put you up right there. How likely does it look like they're gonna fall off? I mean, they're kind of situated in one of those, uh, kind of like in the crook there. If the train was to get jostled, maybe. If another thing were to come flying, maybe. Okay. Um. I think I will dash forward. Okay. My full movement. That uses your action. So. Yeah. I'm gonna go past her though. Oh, okay. I don't think Rabble Rouser would hang out. I think she's going for the prize. Okay, so that's another 30 feet, right? Yep. Okay. That is your turn. Earth or what are you doing? Um, how far from me are the um, the guys, the bad guys? Um, you can't see everyone, but Very you can see far. a mouse at about a uh, hundred 
60 feet from you. Yeah. I want to follow Aris. The other side. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an acrobatics check. I assume you're also dashing. Yeah. yeah. That's a six. Okay, you actually trip and fall. <coughs> Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no. Yeah. Uh. One second. That's a nine. Okay. Uh, Orthor is now currently dangling by one hand off this section right here. And that is your turn. Olsen. You are inside the cockpit. Hmm. I'd like to go up to the all the way to the front of it where all the consoles, the buttons, the evil. Yeah, you can feel your way around the, the like seat and get yourself up front. What are you doing? Hmm. He's just start feeling around and he's all like, eeny, meeny, miny, or <laughs> he's just start flipping and pressing everything. Roll me 1d100. Let us see the Let chaos see the I bring. Chaos. to think of what to do. Thirty-four? Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Yep. Okay. You managed to find like a lever that seems to be pushed all the way forwards. Just gonna pull that all the way back. Okay. The train slowly does decrease in speed. Well, that's bad news for anyone who was uh, going towards the ship, because now it's going for the way. Um, no, it actually seems to be keeping in speed. Um, Damn but it. We now have additional rounds before we crash. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is that all you're doing? Give it to the blind guy to stop the train. <laughs> you lit the blind guy. Not only pry open the Who door, let the blind the guy drive? Who <laughs> let the blind guy do this, by the way? Well, the oh. thing about trams is that they can only go in one direction. <laughs> what are you talking about? They could go backwards. Yeah, but we'll still have additional rounds to try and stop that. I'm uh, going to say that as a, as a bonus action, you can roll another D100. To see if we can roll backwards. <laughs> No, to see what else okay. he comes across, just from feeling things. Emotions? <laughs> that ain't happening anytime soon, Sistel. <laughs> 57. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, you do sort of start to feel around underneath, and you can find that there are petals. Am I allowed to do something with this? Yeah, I mean, you can step on some pedals. Which pedals do you want to step on? I'll step on the one to the left. Okay. 
<laughs> Joke's on you, we're in Europe. <laughs> no, I'm <sorry. laughs> Everything's backwards. Damn it, I want a milk as rose. <laughs> Let us see the results of me, the blind guy, Ivan. You all hear a very sickening, shuddering as the train suddenly uh, starts to bounce uh, and is no longer tethered to the rail and is just sliding forward. Oh my god! Are you serious? Yep. If I'm not getting off, you do. <laughs> what the fuck is um, wrong with you? Everything! <laughs> I think that's actually going to be the the environmental issue because uh, at the start of the round you usually do like layer actions I think so that's what bullshit. this is I would this like everyone so to make uh, a strength or dexterity saving throw to stay on the train I just slide the fuck off. as it oh suddenly God. jostles and is shaken do I do it too? No, oh, people fuck. people fuck. inside the okay. train are fine, but everyone on top. What about balance? Wouldn't I have to like not fall? Uh, so you're you're do? pretty in there with yeah, the, the whole the situation. Dead. You're good. Oh, Sid. This is what you get for letting the blind man talk. <laughs> Why were you so touching me? What do you want oh. me to do? Uh, I'll 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 get to you, Eris. What did you get? Twelve. Okay. Uh, you you get bounced off in a random direction. I'm sucker the elves the best way I can. You are prone. You're not quite off yet. Uh, Thorthor, what did you get? <clears throat> Strength or deck save? Adriel? Nope. Second. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Urathor, Artan. What'd you yes. Am I allowed him? to do okay. an evil laugh? Yes. Done. <laughs> also, I never said I was sane. Also, I swear to God, if I live through this, I I'm gonna kill you. Eyes. What were you expecting? <laughs> That's so true. I'm gonna collect okay. your blood. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What'd you get? Uh, I got a dirty yeah. twenty. Okay, you're you're good. Uh, nice. Um. Oh, I need to save for this person. Ow! Stop. Okay, D and D. My cat's trying to play with me. I'm sorry. Mouse. Hang on. Picking up the energy. The mouse gets pulled in this direction. Arthur actually bounces up into here. Uh, Ravel, what did you get? 25. Okay, you're good. Uh, Rena, Arena, please roll me a death saving throw. A third net run! That's two <laughs> failures. <laughs> At least it's not if you roll an out one, you're fucking dead. <laughs> Is that a uh, I get a card with my other dice. Also, Ryan, come get your nephew. He's being bad. He's on a dog <laughs> Oh my goodness. They also trip and fall again. <laughs> Man, this thing is super dangerous. Okay, they do manage to save themselves. Arthur, I'll please roll me another death saving throw. That's a fail. Okay. That's one success, one failure, correct? Yeah. Eris, please roll me a death saving throw. I thought I was just prone. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Oh okay. my god. I'm sorry. I just assumed because you were down. I just assumed you were all dead by now. Yeah. <laughs> well, Shit. Give me a it's either back. now or in a couple turns. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, stop it. You're, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. 
Um, I'm gonna I use my action to get up, right? I use half your movement to stand up. Oh, half my movement. Okay. Um, how far is the hatch from me from the chip? Uh, like forty feet. Forty. Okay, dope. Um, Olson, Mike. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to come off being. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, don't worry, it's just, just your natural state. I'm not mean. Not a... Sounds like something a mean person would say. You know what? <clears throat> Chicken butt. Freaking stop! Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Oh gee, how old are you? Uh, I'm trying to think. Sorry. Think faster. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do a card throw. At. At the uh, ship. What part? I'm gonna aim for the inside in the like storage area. Okay. Uh, 23. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um. So it's gonna take. It's gonna take four points of lightning damage to the ship. Damn. Okay. You you scorch a, a a nice pleather seat on the inside. I, does it hit anything electric or electronic or anything? No. Fuck. And what makes you even think this thing is run by electricity? I don't. Oh my god. I'm guessing. Look. It could I don't be know what made of a me. thousand flying carpets. You don't know. Half of my party's like almost dead. I don't know what you want from me. By half, I mean. Maybe get back one. on the train because you're kind of slight enough. Yeah, I guess I'll just try and use the rest of my movement and go back in the train. Okay. Just like right there. Yeah. Okay. It's your turn. I'm not jumping on there. Well, actually, I could. <laughs> Rabble, you're up. It's a bumpy ride. What you doing? I'm gonna look over at the guy that I'm chasing. I'm gonna recall what the doc was saying about working together. And I'm Aww. gonna go try to... Stabilize Arthel. Okay. So you're gonna make a medicine check? <clears throat> if you Our wanna team use doctor. that health uh, that's action. That's a nat 20, 22. Holy oh, fucking shit! Damn. If you're making a medicine check, it's at disadvantage because you don't have any... Okay. Yeah. Oh if my you, god, that's so If you yeah. want to use the help action, you can give the person making the death saves advantage. So I'm uh, trying to figure I'll, out what you're doing. I'll do that then. Okay. <laughs> you can, however, still pick them up and move them if you want, because they cannot resist. Okay. It's um, just half your movement speed. Yeah, I'll pick them up. Okay. And move forward. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll, I'll say that you you can get down here if you want. Okay. Kind of a safety spot. Um, Urthor, you are hanging by two fingers. <clears throat> can I get out of there? Can I like? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to make an athletics check. Okay. Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Uh, either. Okay. That's, uh, uh, 30. Okay, you're good. Okay, I want to follow Aris. 
reason I'm playing. <clears throat> Okay, that's your that's your movement. Mm -hmm. you, you'd probably be like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and do, uh, I have like a an extra movement, right? Like a. You can dash. <clears throat> okay, I want to dash. That's far okay. yeah. That gives you an additional thirty feet. Camping. Yeah. Okay. That's probably as far forward as you can go. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Olson, what you doing, bud? Meep. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other Olson. He's just he's just driving the tram, honestly. He's just... He is. And you not hear me? I can nope. hear you now. Yep. Oh my god! Now it's working. I pressed the other pedal. Uh, <laughs> which other pedal? <laughs> There's five pedals. I hit the one to the left. Hmm. In that case, <laughs> I'm just gonna go down there and just slam my hand onto it, press all of them at once. Oh my god, god you blew up the tra tram, we're all fucking dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nothing but chaos. <laughs> okay, that is gonna be your turn. Because what happens is. Chunk, 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 chunk. Oh no. Chunk, 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 chunk. <laughs> Let's see who lives and who dies, shall we? <laughs> oh yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. You feel right. lucky today? I am. <laughs> I got a 20. Uh, suddenly the, the train cars start to part slowly. Oh <laughs> my god. Let's see what else happens. Oh, all of, all of the all of the doors burst off. <laughs> so yeah, like the, these are now. just open now. They're just gone. <laughs> Got the hatch. <laughs> like, chaos all at once. Uh, go, all, all the doors open. Oh my god! Um, the emergency lights start to flare, and you also hear just a blaring. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, we're all gonna die because of this stupid idiot. You let the psycho blind man die. What are you I expecting? Didn't, I didn't let you do anything. I would <laughs> like everyone to make another dexterity saving. I fucking hate I it can't here. Do it. Mom, can you come pick me up? Welcome to D&D. <laughs> you brought me in this campaign. This train car does not capsize. <laughs> No! God! Not yet. <laughs> Eris, what did you get? I don't want to talk about it. It's a five. Bye bye. Make a dexterity saving throw. Me? Yes. To try and grab on as you are flung from the, the car. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh, shit! If it makes you feel any better, that's only me and Kilothor. Right now, I'm panicking. Orothor, what did you get? I got a 16. Okay, you are just good enough. I'm gonna roll for this character. They roll a natural 20. Let me roll oh, for the shit. car now. Oh, oh guys, no! I'm just making sure no one dies. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, what? Oh no. Oh no, this car. No. no. What? No. Not allowed. Not allowed. What's going on? The car blows up, I guess. I'm what's going on. <laughs> oh no, this car is coming this way. You want to make fun of the blind man. The blind man gets his revenge in unfair ways. No one made fun of you. We just they did. pranked you a lot with windows. I swear that rat was making fun of me. 
The rat well, doesn't know you. <laughs> yeah, but he was saying something. I swear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Stop it. No. Make it stop. Just... I'm heading home, boys. <laughs> this car goes this direction. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me roll for this car. Oh no. Wait, you guys needed help. How the how the fuck do we get Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm over it. I'm this is <laughs> <laughs> don't, I to just don't you dare sit. blame me. I just was gonna sit oh, here God. and do nothing now. This, this right here is one hundred percent Olsen's fault. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Olsen, if we make it out of this, I'm gonna D20. fucking murder you. Okay, this car is fine. Oof. <laughs> Good this car guys. is this car is absolutely not fine. Damien, Damien, Danny, kill Danny. <laughs> Rabble, what did you get for your dexterity saving throw? Uh, twenty-one. Okay, you're good. You hold on to Arthur, and you're fine. This car behind you goes end over end, just. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Oh, <laughs> is Danny dead? Please, please. At least let me do one good thing. <sighs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Rain away! Ah! Mango's body is stumbled on the ball. Hey, boys! Yeah, well, guess what? He's dead now, and you can't have his eyes. I'll, do, I'll take it out of the corpse, don't worry. Rain away. The, the cart's gone. I'm 100% fucking dead. They were tiny eyes, though. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. worth it. You got some beautiful eyes there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I did, uh, did I kill the rat? Did yes. I kill the rat? Yeah, Rina I got died? I, well, can I just tell my death at least? I did it, boys! As my rat body bounces with the other train cart and falls and hits rocks and just explodes into different body parts. You know, just... God. What? Never leave a, never leave a, never leave a rat to do a man job, am I right? Jesus Christ. This, this, this is... figure leaps and lands right here and just gives you a look, Eris, like, okay. Arthel, make it, make another death saving throw. With advantage. Yes. Just have to lift that up. It failed. With advantage? Failed? Yeah. Ha Ooh. So that's two two failures and one success. You got those. Eris, you're up. <clears throat> okay, well I get up. Okay. <clears throat> Goodness, the, this this encounter was not supposed to go this way. Well, what did you expect with Olsen the fucking madman? I expected you guys to be at the rear end and then be chasing them to the front. I didn't expect all of this spread out nonsense. You have <laughs> one thing, Sparrow. This was me. chase music. This was not blow up the train music. <laughs> yeah, it is now. <laughs> well, we... Somebody had to it's figure out how to stop the train. It's whatever music I want it to be, damn it. <laughs> okay, Olsen, chill out. All right, you're talking to God here. <laughs> Eris, you um, spend half your movement to stand up. Yeah, yeah, okay. How much movement how much is movement it to is get it? up to the guy? Uh, 10 feet. Dope, I oh. do that. <laughs> um... um. Hang on one second. Uh, I'm gonna do an unarmed strike against him. Okay. Wow, presumptuous of their gender. I said them. You said him. M. It's probably e M. I may be crazy, but I don't do that. Uh, a ten. <laughs> that probably doesn't hit. No, it doesn't. Fuck. But now you're in combat with me, bitch. <laughs> 
Oh, now it's a uh, kid. No. Bitch is a gender neutral term, thank you. Um, it's a female dog. In heat. Uh, what? what? Anyway, um, I'm just gonna end my train here because that's, that's all I can really do. Can really do. Yeah, end your turn. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Ravel, what you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'll, um, I'll say this. There is some good news. This train car is slowing down considerably. I am going oh, no. to... See, I helped. Take... You just want to ride it out. You probably I'm going to take Arth Arthel. Okay. And I'm going to try to get us inside the train. Okay. Uh, all the doors are open. So you can go in any way you want. You're welcome. This would probably be the easiest. Yeah. And with, with your climbing speed, you can just get in there. You can do that. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Not your turn. Uh, yeah, is that all I yeah, have that's action all you can really do? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, you, you can wanna... still use your action if you want to give them advantage again. Yeah, I wanted to help them. Okay. Rithor, what you doing? I mean, uh, I want to go attack the guy. Am I up 30 feet? 30 feet what? From the guy. The yeah. guy in the back room. Can I use my movement to get there? Okay, make a make an athletics or no, acrobatics no, no. check to jump. To get no, to the no, guy. To the guy. Oh, yeah. to the person. Guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. Are you assuming Zendo? Oh, so when I say guy, it's all. Hey, uh, I just said it. <laughs> yeah. Guy is general neutral term. To the dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can I attack from the this? Wait, yeah, I have. Five feet reach. What are you using to attack? I am using. I have a rapier, and I want to cast. Um, just one second. I want to cast my right of storm, which. Let's me go. I want the four. Um, effect or damage. Okay. Press form damage. Roll to hit. Yes. And that's an not funny. No, it's a two, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's what happens. You go to Pierce flying. right in center mass, and it just passes through them. They don't even move or flinch. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> and th that's my turn, or can I still that's move? That's your turn. Olsen? Olsen, I swear to god. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's I don't know what could get worse. But... but Here's the good news. He can't do much else. <laughs> uh, I'd like to pick up That's... the... What? I'm pick... Pick up the what? What? The elf woman. Okay. She's half elf. Yeah. Yeah. Make a Whatever, strength they check. they all look alike to me. Completely blind. Wow. <laughs> wow. She it specifically nice, looks human. She hides her elven features. Just because you're disabled doesn't yes, mean you get I'm to be blind. <laughs> so they don't look alike to you. Yes, they do. Completely uh, they don't blank. look. No, no, no. Everyone looks the same to him. Exactly. You're all the same. Don't worry about it. I can't be racist if I can't see you. That is not how that works. Please do your thing. <laughs> Roll a strength check to pick her up. And if I fail, I'll leave her to die. Jesus fucking Christ.
You could at least like take one of her eyes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, just have a quick snack on her heart before you leave. <laughs> oh whole campaign is cursed now. This is... <laughs> this is something else, guys. I... I'm gonna take a Epic. boiling hot shower just to you fucking... Need both. This is all of your fault. <laughs> I didn't do this! <laughs> Olsen, really what'd you get on your strength check to pick her up? Olsen? It's scooping me I out. Olsen! He stopped oh, watching the stream. I got a 14. Okay, you, yeah, you pick her up. You have half movement speed, but where are you going? I'm the bail! You're just gonna <laughs> jump out? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what the what the fuck are you doing? We're going her as a really fast. <laughs> are you gonna throw her down the train? Nah, I'm gonna use her as a fucking pillow. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Mad man. If you hey, I could use the eyes afterwards. If you jump on the tracks, yes. the rest of the train's gonna hit you. You know that, right? You know that. That's why I'm not <laughs> jumping over the tracks. I'm jumping to the side. You, you get to about here, even if you dash, unfortunately. It's alright, I'll be heading out soon enough. Good luck, fellas! Okay. Um... Oh, jeez. Really threw a wrench in your plans there, eh? <laughs> I would like both of you to make constitution saving throws. I would like oh. this to be over. <laughs> you said constitution? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if she, kill if she kills kill you, him. then it's like, then it'll really be over. Why isn't it letting me roll? Get off my thing! <laughs> I got a 14. It's not letting me roll. Are you on my thing? What's happening? No, I'm not. Reload okay. the page. Also, I, I'd like to I apologize reloaded. to the rat. I'm sorry I killed you. <laughs> uh, you it's, it, it was an enemy anyways, it's fine. Yeah, but I, I just feel sorry because I actually like that character. Oh my god, at 12. You both take 10 points of force damage and are knocked 10 feet away. Oh no. Yeah. As they cast Thunder Wave. This bitch is Zedi. <laughs> okay, you just land on the edge. Uh, you. I'm also just gonna put you there. And now, they're gonna rush past you! <laughs> um, but that's all they can do. Arthur, another death save, you have advantage. Is Arthur there? Pass. You pass? Oh, yay! So you're stable. You don't need no. to make any more saves. I have two no. and two. No. Two and two, yeah. Oh, she has two and two? I thought... Oh, okay. Nope. Alright, Eris, you're up. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to get up. I am going to get up. <laughs> Why are you... Rub salt in the wound that... This... <laughs> I am um, this yeah. close to ping all over my computer monitor and keyboard. What? What? <laughs> I am so what? angry and I need to pee. <laughs> Do you need to go to the bot? You need to go potty right now. I don't right want to leave in the middle of this. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can go potty if you gotta go potty. Okay, I'll don't be worry, right I'll back. Make more chaos. <laughs> this it's is fine. crazy. 
It's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure half of us will be alive when you get back. <sighs> I'm so mad. Ladies, gentlemen, you're welcome. I mean, it was very exciting. I love every bit of that. I hate everything that's happening right now. Alton was low key. I don't even want to hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> we both got KO'd by like a fucking sound spell. It's not my fault, oh, Chad was gonna just leave you to die. Hey, I came you back also and left saved me to die? her. I came back and saved her. I right? was nowhere near you! Harris, what are you doing? Hundred feet from me. The guilt got me. No, I wasn't. Harris. I'm back. What? What? I'm back. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good under think. pressure. Get him. Uh, <laughs> this is not Mr. Bones' him. wild ride. <laughs> get him! Get him! Um, uh, fuck. How far away is he? I literally called him a she and you're still refusing. Okay. You keep feet. calling him a he and then being no. like, oh, it's a he. No, I have him never referred like, to them oh, as him. a he. Yes, you did. You know what? I'm not even arguing with you about this. How far I, away? I've said they, they made it. I Last turn, I referred to them as a she. Okay, how far? 30 feet. 30 feet? Dope. I'm going to do card throw. Um... You cannot have the rat's eyes. They're too small. <laughs> I thought the rat's... Oh, yeah. No, the rat's eyes would be big if it's proportioned to the... Two eyes, one socket. Oh, I'll make it work somehow. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh... <coughs> <laughs> what is that? Um, okay. Please don't turn the dead rat into a drone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a 17. That is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, I needed that. <laughs> Hello? Uh, they are going to hold up their hand and... Uh, you see a wave of energy appear and absorb the blast. A 17 doesn't hit them? They did oh, a reaction did. to lower y your hit, and uh, so it does not hit. I get it now. We're not supposed to beat that one. Fine. Uh, Jesus Christ. I, I'm fucking... I'm pissed. I hate it. You know what, Olsen? God damn you. <laughs> You fucking bitch! <laughs> you, know what? you know what? I hope that you never find another eyeball again. I hope Don't that you just you. you die. I'm <laughs> taking yours. No, if I die, you die, bitch. That's that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard someone say. That like, I hope you never Thank find you. another eyeball. <laughs> I'm glad that you die for me. Thank you. I'm glad that the per the the one person that's could have been any help. And this entire situation just wasn't. Um, what are you talking about? I killed the rat. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck. Can I use my movement to get it to... Uh... Get up to them, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm going to go to uh, Urthal. Okay. Uh, I mean, but he's not dead. He's, he's in a different car. car. No, I'm no that's Urthal. I'm talking about... Urthal? Yeah. Earth, yeah, Earthel. Sorry, I, there's the names are so similar. <laughs> ah! that, that's okay. I'm just knocked down though. Is he... Tambriel is going over to Arthel. Shut okay. the fuck up. <laughs> um. Wait, are you down? Or are no. you? No. Nope. You just got knocked. Down. I'm okay. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just not go not that far it. then. Yeah. Right here. To the back. Just uh, put me to the back. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. There, that's fine. Fuck. You doing anything else, Rabble? <laughs> I'm just gonna brace and try to keep helping. It, it's it's almost to a stop at this point. Okay. I'll just help then. Okay. Arthur, what you doing? 
Okay, so Half I want to stand, stand up. up first, then move to the guy. Okay, you can yep. just get to them. Okay. Then I want to make another attack. Okay. Uh, that's not at 20 this time. It's at 24. Okay. So hit. I guess that hit. You actually have disadvantage on melee attacks. What? What's that? You have disadvantage on melee attacks. Wait, nope. Oh. Nope, that's a reaction. Never mind. Okay. So, yeah, that's a, that's a crit. Okay. Yeah, uh, kick what, his ass. <laughs> what do I do when I crit? Uh, you you roll the the dice twice, and then add okay. a modifier. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. That's a twelve. Okay. Yeah, they did not like that. <laughs> I know. Can I hide or something? I mean, that's where? your movement. Hide <laughs> where? Okay. The dragon all over again. <laughs> Olsen? You are dragging a body? Time to abandon ship! <laughs> oh, jeez. Make, make an athletics or uh, acrobatics check. Invited him. <laughs> That's no what one. I want. I know. show up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Twenty-three. Ooh. Nice. Oh, so now you roll good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good night. You do take you six points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. I'm alive. Okay. Hey, um, David. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mention it, but uh, I cast a, a spell on my sword that last. Like, oh, yeah. So you get an additional created. something damage? 1d4. Sorry, I forgot about that. Right. Well, it, it didn't Can hit I... that other time, so it continues over, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll that. Can I... Can I, uh, yeah, sorry, thanks. Don't worry, guys, I saved the woman. Well, the hero. I don't, I don't think you did. <laughs> let, let me roll some death saves, hold on. Death saves. Oh, okay. If it's a, if it's a corpse when I, uh, I do it, can I just use her to land on it? Well, she wasn't dead until you jumped out of the train with her, so hold on. Oh my god! Let us see if she survives. Olsen! Just... When you hang out with me, there's a 50-50 sense you'll live or die. She's not dead. Alright! What was that damage? Okay, that's a three. Sorry, Olsen. Okay. Um, let's see, what else is the, the train doing? Uh, there was gonna be more stuff. Uh, but I'm not gonna make you guys suffer anymore. I'm just gonna... So what you're no no me layer action this turn. Buttons. No. Uh, you can make an attack of opportunity as they attempt to move past you. <clears throat> uh, me? Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay. That's, uh, 1923 to hit. Okay, this one they're going to use the reaction to pose disadvantage. Alright. Uh, 13. Okay, that one misses. Alright. I'm now going to attempt to jump to the dropship. Please they roll on that one. just make it. Damn, and here I was hoping they got ran over by the same. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. The big jump. Mm. 
He watches they then shoot like an arcane bolt, uh, not at any of you guys, but attempting like down at the track. But they rolled a natural one. <clears throat> So I like to imagine that it just like ricochets and like hits the ship somehow or something. Uh, they shoot their feet. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's their movement is that they're up there. Uh, the ship is now attempting to fly away. We have one more turn. Arthel. Final save. This is it. This with advantage, right? It with advantage. Live or die. Live or die. Got... I'd just like to say, I did not kill that one. What's a ton? <laughs> That's a success. Yeah. You are stable. You're alive. <gasps> okay, I would just like to say, I didn't kill that one. Eris. Yeah. Olsen, yeah. just shh, shh. Just. You're on the ground somewhere. Go away. <laughs> um. <sighs> Um, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the hatch. Okay. You're not gonna do anything else? What do you mean? The ship's starting to maneuver away. This is your final turn to attempt to do anything. I don't care anymore. Okay. Get him. No, fuck you. Okay. Yeah, you can go in the hatch. Okay. In the hatch. In the hatch. In the hatch. The lid. The lid. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Uh. No. no. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> um. Fuck. You have Sorry, I'm just movement. frustrated. This whole situation is stupid, and I hate you, Olson. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm gonna go too. up to the controls. Okay. There's a screen that says missile lock. No, I'm just kidding. What? what? Oh. Stop, Stop it! Why couldn't I hit that button? Because you can't see, bitch. Um. Because trains don't have missiles. Don't on you. I'm not gonna die. Uh, I'm gonna look for something that might look like a break. Okay, roll an investigation check. Yeah, hang on. Uh, that is a nat 20 for 22. Okay, Ooh. there there are several things. You do see, like, a big crank that looks like an emergency break. Um, there is also, like, an emergency button. Um, there's, like, some other things, too. You can also see that there's, like, the break. There's... What are you trying to do? I'm trying to look for the break. So okay. I can... Yeah. You, you yeah. see the normal break and you see the emergency break. Uh, Just a reminder, the... you're not attached to the rail. Yeah. yeah. You're kind of like slightly skewed, just still sort of sliding forward. So you don't know if the brake will actually do anything. Okay, so then I'll hit the emergency brake. What? The, the emergency brake, like the big lever, or do you want to hit the emergency button? Emergency button. Okay. Oh... What happens to Ur Thor? Oh no. You better grab something, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you wanted to complain about my Zyvan. <sighs> I'm not doing anything. You know what? Ur Thor, make a dexterity saving throw. Don't. Okay, first of all, don't even go there. <laughs> I swear to God. Nice. That's an 18. Okay, you're good. You grab on just in time as the entire car suddenly slowly lifts up into space as if lacking gravity, and then it slows to a stop. Can I use the momentum of the train to jump into the climb vehicle? <laughs> I mean, it's not your turn. Okay. Um, Give us something. <laughs> Just a second. What is Ravel doing? <laughs> uh, she's stabilized now. Yep. But the train car has stopped. Yep. I'm Your friends gonna... are far ahead of you. 
lay back on the floor and take a rest. <laughs> okay. Uh, Urothor, this is like the split second before the gravity starts to hit in. And you want to make that jump? Um, yes. Make an acrobatics check. Oh my god, you're gonna get kidnapped. Or athletics. You got this! <laughs> what is that? I can't see it. No! <laughs> ah! What's that? <laughs> I just suicide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't kill that one either. Oh, it's a nine. <laughs> oh, you... No, no. You leap. <laughs> <laughs> I should have thrown my knife or something. You leap and your fingers slip and you are just spinning, arms cartwheeling in the air when... <laughs> An arm catches you. Oh. Yes. Take me with you. Long live History the king. Person. <laughs> <laughs> they are like, I gotta get you away from that guy who was having the same. Yeah. <laughs> Olsen. Uh, actually, we're just gonna... We're gonna jump out of combat as the plane flies away. Oh my With god! Orathor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> Jesus. Me. He got And that's you're where we're kidnapped? gonna end the session. Stop! I'm so <laughs> okay. annoyed. Give me that I love it. token. I, so everybody there, else is fine except for the rat. And that that was literally <laughs> the only win that you got is that you killed the new player. <laughs> That's not a. That's not even a win, honestly. That's just a real <laughs> tragic <laughs> happenstance. That was awesome.